welcome back. Guess what? <laughs> We're gonna play Sims, that's what. No one's surprised by that, actually. We always do this. Let me get my advent calendars quick, because they're on the floor. Oh, geez. I need to be careful. You know what I didn't do also is because we opened like three of them yesterday. I haven't built all of them yet from yesterday. So maybe while we have people to come in, I can start building the ones from yesterday. <laughs> maybe I could get them and then we can start working on those. I have, this is that stupid hockey thing. This is that other stupid hockey thing. Um, oh, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> I refused to build the hockey ones yesterday, apparently. And I stand by that. I stand by that. So anyway, hi everyone, welcome back. Um, welcome to the stream where, um, hold on, let me see if I can find this. Welcome to the stream where today we're playing with Legos. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Um, okay, anyway, welcome in everybody. We're gonna play Sims, we'll play with the new pack uh, in a couple minutes here. Oh, this one will be easy. Let me get this guy's body put together. There we go. See? I know you can't tell, but... He's got, like, a helmet. He's got some glasses. Are those ice skates? Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, hold on. Look at this. Here's the man's body. Okay. Shoulder pads face, hold on, face, helmet, he's got glasses, okay, okay, I put those on wrong, got it, glasses, he even has, he even has ice skates, oh wow. Okay, this is a little bit less dumb than I thought it was yesterday. So there's that at least. I refused to build it yesterday because I was mad about getting hockey in my advent calendar, but it's not that bad. Okay, he's got ice skates too that I can't put in. And then look, he's got like a... Oh, no, I can't get it. Oh my God. Sorry, you guys, welcome to the stream. Look, and then he has a little hockey puck. Good for him. Anyway, that's yesterday. We'll open the advent calendar from today in a minute. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Um, let me just shove the extra pieces in there. Okay. Okay. This should be fun. You're building student townhouses right now? Oh, I'm so excited about building. I It's like all I wanna do. We might start a new build today just cause I'm excited about the thought of it. <laughs> You got a mini brand's advent calendar because of me? Really, God? <laughs> it's so fun. We'll open We'll open it in a minute. I wanna give people a couple of minutes to come in and then we'll open it. I also have my game open. Let me see. So we can, uh, we can play some Sims in a bit. Yeah, a lot of people's Sims have been autonomously showering nonstop. It's not just you, it's a known bug. Okay, should we open today's uh, stupid Lego advent calendar? I'm sorry, it's not stupid. It just, it gave me two hockey things in a row. And I don't like that. So hopefully today we're past the hockiness. Yes? Okay, day number six. Ready? I have n Any ideas? Hold on. Anyone got any ideas? I haven't a clue what that is. Is it like a sign again? I... A blender? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's like... Here's the pieces. It's, it's supposed to be an outdoor... Ice sculpture? You think it's an ice sculpture? Eh, it might be an ice sculpture. 
Or maybe a street lamp. This is the third flop day in a row. There's only so many flop days in a row that a person can handle. It's not... Oh! This might be a spoiler. Look. On the back of the box, first of all, I was right about the hockey goal thing. This person, we're probably gonna get them tomorrow. I think that they're chiseling at the ice sculpture. I think it is an ice sculpture. Well, now we know what tomorrow's is gonna be. It's okay. It's okay. Mini brands will make things better. Oops, I dropped my Legos. Mini brands always makes things better. <laughs> okay, day number six. Any predictions? I think it's gonna be like a snack. Oh my god, it's a Slurpee. You guys. Oh! <laughs> oh no, we have a big problem. It... Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's lost. <laughs> it rolled down the back of my desk. I... Okay. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's, it got stuck in the cords. Okay, we're fine. I'm back. I'm back. We're fine. We're fine. Sorry. <laughs> we had a we had a slurpy problem for a second. It's a slurpy. It's kind of weird. This isn't really what slurpees look like, but that's fun. Cool. It says hashtag slurp life. So that's weird. It, you know what it's better than though? A stupid ice sculpture. <laughs> it's definitely better than an ice sculpture. Okay, I feel better now. I'm happy again. Sorry, I had a bit of a moment. So, <laughs> let's game. Can you drink it? Like, I'm so confused. No, they're toys. Here's some of my other ones. This is a tiny pretend box of Frosted Flakes. They're like collectibles, I think, but for me, this is like the kind of thing that you would play with in a dollhouse or keep in a tiny box on your desk. You know? <laughs> no, mustard, mustard, you misunderstand. It's not that ice sculptures are dumb. It's that this ice sculpture is dumb. There's a difference. <laughs> it's not, it's not a problem with ice sculptures. It's a problem with this ice sculpture. It's not a sculpture of anything, Avery. That's the problem. I'd put it together, except I'm gonna play Sims and we'll put them together another time. On a normal day, I would put it together, except today it's the last day of early access for the new Sims pack. So realistically, now is probably a good time for us to just Sim. <laughs> You know? Okay, so here's the deal, chat. I don't know if you want to build. I don't know if you want to play. I personally am kind of in the mood to build. And I kind of want to start a new build. <laughs> I want to do like a an, an all packs kind of build, um, playing with the, um, with the new pack and like all the other stuff. So, uh, like, there was talk about doing, like, like, university housing type stuff. There was talk about, I don't know, there's just so many different kinds of things that we could build because we could make a, like, new housing for any of the worlds. So, we have a lot of options because you could build anywhere. Um, so, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I saw a lot of people saying trailer park and retirement home yesterday when we were playing. Um, lots of university comments too. Um, I don't know about Del Sol Valley. Mm. I don't know about that. <laughs> I do like the idea of the trailer park thing because I, I thought about doing that um, to, to like improve Johnny Zest's house, which I know you can't really see because my face cam's covering it. 
um, to maybe like give Johnny Zest a, a set of like multiple houses over there, I thought would be kind of cool. Um, but I don't know. There's a lot of options. <laughs> There's a lot of options. We may have to do a, a poll or something. Um, but anyway, that would be fun. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of fun too. Do you want to do it over here? Like on Johnny Zest's lot? I don't know. Should Johnny Zest be the landlord? <laughs> Does Johnny Zest rent out places on his property? <laughs> Johnny Zest is a landlord. It's, I mean, it is in his blood, you know? Okay, let's get zesty. <laughs> we'll build something for Johnny Zest. <sighs> oh, good God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get what? Uh, let's get zesty. You know? <laughs> Christine, you can't say hashtag slurp life. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Horny for bees just subscribed. Oh, here we go. We can't escape it. What's going on in chat right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, Paul and Mama Bear and Cameron and Princess and Lindsay and Survivor and, and Mooley and Miss Hatter. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh my god. I know I missed a lot of things. I was complaining about ice sculptures for too long. I'm really sorry. Um, let's get it together. <laughs> you guys, we need to focus. <laughs> we have to, okay, compose yourselves. Are we are we gonna do the trailer park idea? Is that like confirmed? That that is what won the poll. Um, but oh, the poll said zesty trailer park or trailer park but no zest. Well, that's not an accurate poll, now is it? <laughs> no one's gonna. Who's gonna vote for no zest when you're offered zest or no zest? Of course, you're going zesty. Thanks, Tilly. That was a really helpful poll. Much appreciated. <laughs> Do you want to go look? I think that, because we're going to use all the packs, um, I think that Strangerville uh, might have some good stuff in debug. So I might show you the one in Strangerville. This is by far one of my favorite lots in the entire game. I think that the like, inv which sounds like a really bold thing to say, because it's Strangerville, but I think the environment around it is really cool. Like, I think that this area with the debug trailers and stuff, it just, it makes this lot look really cool. Like, I really like this. Um, and so I'd like to maybe try to emulate this a little bit, um, but build it for Johnny Zest, because he obviously, like, this one's only 20, 20 by 15, so you can't really make it into a rental, but Johnny Zest has more space, so um, his can have some rentals in it. Um, yeah, that's kind of like, that's kind of what I want the lot to look like. I'll show you again. I close out of it too fast, <laughs> but I really like it. So, um, Vic and Squintern and Yikes and Elsie, thanks for the subs. Um, I should take a screenshot too. So we have this for later so it can be emulated. Um, okay. Thought Zesties is like that too. No, Zesties isn't very cool. Zesties is kind of plain. Um, it's just a big empty lot. It's not bad. It's a cool idea, but it's kind of plain. So, um, the big lots in the horse ranch world would be nice for this too, but, um, we're gonna, guys, we're gonna build so many different apartments. Like, you can't, you can't get rid of me for the next, like, many months. So we're gonna be doing this for a while, so. Um, yeah, but, like, it's a, it's a fun idea in theory, but I don't think that this looks good. You know? Like this, it's not, it's not well executed. Um, here's the inside, by the way. Cool idea, but could be cooler, I, I think. So I'm gonna destroy it. Um, and then we can build here probably. There's no zest. We need some zest. <laughs> um, why does he have two AC units? Well, it's hot out here, so I get it. <laughs> Trithman, Dainey, Becky, Vic, thank you for the subs. Okay. Yeah, he's got a 40 by 30 lot. He has a pretty decent amount of space. I think that we could probably fit, like, I mean, realistically, we could probably fit at least three. 
if not maybe maybe four the four might be cutting it a little close though maybe we'll do three three and then like some of the debug trailers so it helps fill it in one diagonal one oh that's that's interesting i hadn't really considered that as a possibility wait Ooh. That might be cool. I, okay. I'm gonna regret that a lot. The problem is, right, It's it looks cool, but when we try to furnish it, because it's on a diagonal, like when you try and put the, the kitchen cabinets in and stuff, they're gonna have the weird lighting bugs. It'll it'll be kind of hard to build if it's diagonal, because they're quite small. So it might not be. It's like it's like cool in theory, but it might not be good in practice. No, you can't build it straight and then turn it because the um, I don't know if you can tell, but on a diagonal, the tiles are bigger. So like a one by one room on diagonal is a lot bigger than a one by one room normally um so when, if you try to like you can't rotate it the same way so um anyway that's how that's just how math works i guess <laughs> oh, we're not gonna do a bigger lot lily because the idea is that johnny zest is the landlord so i want to do it on his lot so a bunch of circle trailers oh <laughs> Oh, round walls? Wow, that, wow, that would just be so good, wouldn't it? Wow. <laughs> That's just what we want. <laughs> Diana, Wilsey, Rocky, Pug, PC, Mac, uh, Fryland and Lime, and Lime! Lime Fanta! It is a zesty day today, my friends. Even Lime's over here. Um, <laughs> Love Ghosted and Snadies and Catla and Azuria and Cora. Thanks for the subs. The zest is here! There's another Lime in the chat! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just start building. I gotta stop being chaotic right now. We need to relax. We should put a lemon tree in the front yard. We'll give him a lemon tree. That'll be so funny. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> Johnny Zest is one of my one of my favorite townies, I think. I just like him. He's a cool guy. Actually, let's start with his unit, because his is we'll keep his in like a similar place, but we'll just build some extras kind of around it, I guess, right? Um, I like that idea. Okay, uh, Queen and Kayla and Diana and, and Wellesley, thanks for the subs. This is a little bit wide. It needs to be skinnier. Okay, so that'll be Johnny Zest's bedroom and bathroom. He'll have, honestly, very similar layout to what he had before. But we'll get him, like, his kitchen right here. He'll have a living room kind of right here. And then he'll probably have a front door... I'm guessing the front door will be in this area by the little entryway. So there's kind of like a hallway and then maybe he can have a dining table or something. Um, so. Um, Alisa, I think they'll be, I think they'll be nice trailers. Well, the thing is you asked if they'll be nice trailers or not nice trailers. They're not going to be like nice as in like they have expensive furniture in them they're gonna be like probably slightly starter home vibes i think but not like starter home but like you know we'll use like i'm not gonna use you know this <laughs> that's what makes a nice house you know <laughs> it's a normal normal house is kind of more the vibe i'm going for not not nice and not nice but normal it's more what i'm thinking just a normal house <laughs> Kind of like what his house was before I bulldozed it, I guess. Um, okay, I think I like the shape of that. I think that's pretty decent. We should be able to... 
Well, these are a little bit smaller than what I had built for my, um, for my test run. So we might be able to fit more of them in. I don't know. No mold then? Oh, we could put mold in one of them. Is that wrong of me to do? Like, to subject the poor sims to that? Like, they don't really deserve to have to live in a moldy house, but... It might be fun if one of them had mold. Just for, like, the vibes, you know? We'll make one stinky and one, one nice and one for Johnny. I don't know. If anyone deserves to have a stinky one, it should be Johnny. Please, no, I'm so tired of mold. My allergies. <laughs> Oh, Christine says no mold. So I don't know. Um. Do you think we could fit four? I don't know. Is it better to just do three? I'm struggling to figure out where they should go if we're gonna do uh, an extra one. We talked about doing three and then having the debug ones added in, so maybe three is better. And then we'll have the debug ones. Instead of like making them into a square. And this way they'll have like some nice common spaces in the middle and stuff, which will be good. I don't know, it's kind of a weird shaped lot to, or a weird size lot to have so many. We talked about doing one diagonal, but it wasn't really working the way that we wanted it to. Oh, this is needs to be flipped around. Okay. But they'll have a lot of outside space this way, so that'll be good. Okay. Make one double wide, but um but have them be like two separate units. That's an interesting idea. I don't know. Um, Leah, Shay, Aaron, Chaos Queen, thanks for the subs. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not gonna make a moldy, Christine. Yesterday we, we built some kind of stinky houses. These are gonna be um, a little bit fancier. <laughs> a little bit fancier looking than the stinky builds that we did yesterday, I think. Yesterday I built like three houses that were full of mold. But I swear I won't do that again today. <laughs> I might make just one that's full of mold. You know? I do kind of like the double wide idea. Do you think we have enough space for that? And so you do you want them to be two units then? So should I have them be like kind of attached? But... Let me flip it around. But kind of like that. This might be fun because we could maybe have the front door in a different location on this. So is that, that's what the person I think was originally talking about. Um, that fills in more of the lot and it gives us a second unit. Unless, unless you want it to be double wide, but then, I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't be attached. What if it wasn't attached, but it was still like, similarly located. Like what if we had, um, we can have their front door over here. So then it becomes four units. And then this is like a lot of the shared space in here. Is that better? That might be easier to roof if it's like that. You like attached, you like them not attached. Someone said put it in rows. I don't know. I think the double wide is too wide, which makes sense because it is double wide. but. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Eden, Misty, Leah, Shay, thanks for the subs. Um, maybe one is smaller. We could make it a little bit smaller. I also kind of like the idea of most of them being very similar in size, but I don't know. Yeah, I like how it's close to the other one too. Um, maybe in one of these we could put like a crib. They could have a baby and stuff. Um, okay, I wanted to look at some of the stuff from Strangerville. Because Strangerville has a lot of, like, trailer... That's just a house, but I'm looking for, like, the trailer debug items. Because they have, like... Infection scanner. No. 
What I want is... Aha! Like some of these. I was hoping to put in... I don't know if there's gonna be enough space for them. <laughs> but I was kind of hoping to put in like... Some things like this around. Maybe just the one Airstream, I don't know. We have a couple different colors of them, so... We can see if they end up fitting or not. Maintenance shed? Oh, yeah, that would be good too. We don't have that much space. Yeah, you can play as a tenant in the pack, Daria. You can, basically, um, you can live in an apartment just like how you, it's it works very similarly to like the city living apartments where you can just live in them um but the the fun of this pack right is that you can build them from scratch you can choose to own and run them or you can just play in them um it's it basically gives you the ability to make your own lot like completely from scratch so that's kind of the fun of it all um so you think they're a little big? What the f the? Oh, this is the bedroom, not the bathroom. I'm gonna have to flip around this layout. That's okay. Um, you think the trailers are a little big? I mean, they could probably be like a tile smaller for the living rooms. We can make the bedrooms a tile smaller too. I'm not opposed to it. I'd like to have, if possible, I'd like to have two bedrooms in one of them. They're a bit wide. Really? These are very similar width to the one that was here before, so. Um. Um, they're not wide, okay. <laughs> Trailer park share bathrooms. I'm sure that some do. These ones have bathrooms in the units. Um, I think that we're like kind of talking about different sorts of places. The, I'm kind of envisioning this, think of it more as like a neighborhood. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for, um, is to is to build this out to be kind of like a neighborhood, I think. Um, maybe I'll make one of them a little bit wider so we can try and fit an extra bedroom in it. I would very much like that. Um, okay, that's like that. There, they have two bedrooms and a bathroom, that's good. Um, yeah, not RVs, but like mobile homes is kind of what we're going for. You're thinking more of like this, <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking more like stationary homes, so. Vegasaurus and Goth and Hazel and D-Red and Lily, thank you for the, for the subs. Um, yeah, like long-term living, not camping. Um, okay. Um... I think I'm liking this general layout idea. I like how there's an extra bedroom in that one. I might try and get an extra bedroom in this one too. This one's gonna have a different layout to it, so. Um, living room can be right there. We'll probably do like, oh, that's way too, way too close. Oopsies, sorry. Um, that's very similar to the other one, but I think that's fine. <laughs> I just want to have an extra, um, an extra area. That's a long hallway, but that's okay. We can make the hallway have like a table in it. Um, okay, cool. Hi, Brew. <laughs> Hi, Brew. Free, thanks for the 58 months. Yeah, Raven, I think that they're all thinking about camping when they're saying that. I think that they're thinking about a different kind of thing. Um, but hopefully we've made it make more sense. Um, long kitchen. Oh, that would be cool if there was a kitchen up against this wall. You know what we could do? Let's flip it around a little bit. Sorry about all your windows, everybody. Um, let's flip it around a little bit and I'll put the... Oh my god, I've ruined it. But we'll put the, um... The bedroom and bathroom will be over here, right? And then we can have the kitchen on this wall because then, then we can have windows for the bedroom on this side and they aren't like looking right into that person's house. And we can have the kitchen long up against this wall, right? Okay, <laughs> I, 
I like that. Mel, Sapphire, thanks for the subs. This will be cool. It's going to take us a few tries to figure out the layouts. These are all quite um, big and there's a lot of them. So, But I'm kind of picturing something along those lines, like up against the wall. So... Your sister's trailer home has a mobile dishwasher on a little counter island piece. Really? That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, we can you we should use the new dishwasher in this too. Speaking of dishwashers, we do have a new dishwasher in this pack. Um, okay. Um, okay. Should I scoot this? Maybe scoot Johnny's forward just a smidge so they aren't all in a row. Scoot them just a little bit more. Something along those lines. Um, and then that gives us more space for this. I don't know if I want to use that or not, but we'll see. We shall see. Make it three instead and make a cute shared park in the middle. Well, so we, we kind of uh, talked about that originally is doing the three and then we managed to find space for an extra one. So I think we might be okay to have the extra one because we did find some space um, for it. And there is still a lot of room to have like the shared park and stuff that we've been talking about, I think. So I think we'll be okay, but we'll see how it goes. We shall see how it goes. Um. I don't know if I want to use this or not. Okay. That helps to take up some more of the room though. Are there more times you stream? Well, so I usually stream in the morning on Wednesdays, but I didn't today because of the early access for the pack. Um, I've been a bit busy, so. Uh, today I had to record this morning. Um, there are like umbrellas from the new pack, right? What is, what did they call it? Um, no, why I'm on the wrong packs. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've clicked on the wrong pack for like every single one. Jeez, I keep scrolling to the bottom and then clicking on it too soon. I'm thinking about the idea of like getting a tent, tent instead of umbrella, duh. But I like the idea of having like a covered space for sitting somewhere. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I need to cheat for money for Johnny's S too. Okay. Risa Bridges, thanks for the, for the subs. If you guys are just tuning in, we were joking about how, um, we're having Johnny's S be the landlord of this place. And, and the joke is like, oh, it's, it's in Johnny's S blood. Like, <laughs> um, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a landlord again here. <laughs> His family's like that. He wants a land grab, always a land grab, you know? So <laughs> that was kind of the meme we were going for with Johnny. Um, okay, maybe I'll have like a little yard space in this area. My royal family is the land grabs. I, I get it, I understand. Maybe a hot tub. Oh, that would be kind of cool too. I don't know how exactly I want to do this yet. I don't know how much of the, like how I want to split up the area. Cause I want to have some shared space. Maybe I should have put, um, maybe the front door should be over here again. And then back here, this has like some more private space for us if we wanted to use this to have like the hot tub and everything for everybody. You always view him as the one to break the cycle. Yeah, I mean, I would like to think that Johnny Zest is the, is the best of the land grabs. I agree, like pretty wholeheartedly. However, however, for our purposes today, Johnny Zest is a landlord. <laughs> Normally, Johnny Zest, he, he's different, okay? Today, He's a landlord. <laughs> um, okay, maybe. What sort of, do you think we should do like gravel? People were talking about putting a hot tub out here and I do actually really like the idea of that. Um, I don't know, like. Maybe he's an ethical landlord. Well, yeah, I think that it's it's 
most of the landlords in The Sims, I would argue, are ethical landlords. To some degree. Sounds a little silly to say that out loud, but I think that like most of the the ones in The Sims specifically, I'm gonna come back to that, are, are not so bad. You know? Because you can't really like, you can't charge as extortionate of prices in The Sims as people do in real life. So it's not that bad. The roof is overhanging. Oh, yeah, I did make it smaller, didn't I? That's my bad. Yeah, we need to get some fairy lights, too. I liked the idea of um, fairy lights. I know we're kind of in a weird place right now where we don't have a lot down, but once we figure out the layout, it's going to start coming together faster, I promise. But I liked the idea of fairy lights, like, in between these. They're just kind of close together. But maybe, maybe these people just have fairy lights like for their, in their little yard space, you know? That might be kind of cute. I don't know. Um, let me give them a... Oh, that has to be high up. Is that okay? Oh. No. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Um, should we do, like, multiple? I don't know. Go away. Not you. I don't know, they have a lot of- their yard is quite big that way. I could rotate them to not be so tall also, but... Um, there's a matching pole for those. Yeah, I was doing the column on purpose instead of the matching pole. It was a- it was an intentional choice. Um, so the idea that I was kind of picturing as I was doing that was like, wouldn't it be cool if the lights were like in between the units? Um, how close together are these? But it could be like kind of a, okay, see, like this is almost exactly the right size. That's the spirit. <laughs> that is more like it. We can probably put it in here, but that's kind of what I was picturing. That's that's what I was hoping for, was to have like some lights kind of dangled between them. But they just don't, I don't know if I want to put them that close together in this area. I'm not sure. Should we have a parking lot too? Um, I don't know, that might be kind of nice, but also we've, there's not a lot of space. Should you be over here? Maybe. That might be better. It's right up against the edge, but that's okay. Maybe there could be a parking lot over here. No parking lot waste of space. Yeah, I mean, it might be a bit of a waste of space, but it also might be cool. Could still do a pole in the middle and have two strings. I guess we could. I might want to scoot it over so that we have it like up against the edge. No parking lot, we don't need that, we can get gardens, etc. Well, yeah, a parking lot might be a slight waste of space in that way, but... Oh, that makes it so we have less over there. I know they're floating, we would, we would fix it. Don't worry, it wouldn't still be floating. Mm, I think that's too much. I think that's too much. We have enough space to have a slight parking lot and everything else, I think. Um, let me show you from Strangerville. Look, there's even like a parking stop item in Strangerville. Strangerville was born for this. I think it might be kind of cute to have a slight parking lot, chat. Um, well, Alyssa, we were never gonna make them dirty. <laughs> We were never gonna make them dirty. We've been talking about that the whole time. They were never gonna be dirty. Um, they're gonna be like nor very normal houses. They aren't gonna be like moldy gross. That was never the goal. Um, they're very normal houses. Um, Lavender, Cat, Witchy, Lauren, Ark, thank you for the, for the, for the resubs. Yeah, they're not dirty, they're zesty. <laughs> they're zesty, it's important. Um, okay. Put the like parking lot in the center, have trailers around it. Okay, so I was thinking about having the parking lot in the front, so it's like easy access to the road, and then having pathways and like shared common areas 
amongst the rest of it. I kind of wanted to have it be like um, some nice space for like all of this to be a lot of room for the Sims to actually use. It's kind of what I was going for. Um, instead of having the parking lot take up the middle. I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking at least. Um, oh, we should just have four parking spots and then they'll match the like one per unit. That'll be good. Okay, so there's one car. That'll be two cars. One can have a... Oh wow, they take up a lot of space, don't they? Oh dear. Um, how many tiles do you need? You could probably fit in... Three tiles. Oh dear. Okay. Um... Scoot that back a little. Just do a bike. It'd be cool if we had, um, like a bike rack or something. I do like that idea. Oh, that takes up a lot of room. But I kind of also want to have... I like the cars. I think it's realistic to have cars. Um, maybe the bike rack can be like kind of over here in this section. There is a bike rack from the new pack too in the debug up for rent, so we can use that. I like this fence a lot. Oh, AC, we have to use that everywhere. Sorry, I just got way too excited about that. <laughs> Sorry everybody, I was, uh, that, something came over me. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm from Florida, I see AC, I get excited. Um, I'm looking for the bike rack. This, look how cool that is. So we can put something like that down. Um, and we'll have like space for the trash cans and everything too. Is the AC debugger functional? It's not debug, it is functional. In live mode, you can click on it. Look at this, you can sync it with the thermostat. So if you have like the AC on in game, it'll turn cold inside like it'll this will turn on and you'll see like the thing move so anyway it's kind of cool <laughs> that's if you have season otherwise you can just turn it on like normal it's kind of the idea actually the lighting looks pretty good right now keep it how it is um okay so new question should the fence line up kind of like this i know that's quite close to the um to the house, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, I think that's probably what you want, right? It's realistic. I like how it looks better that way too. Okay. We're we building, we're making, um, we're kind of like rebuilding Johnny Zest's lot. Uh, if you're familiar with Johnny Zest from The Sims 4, um, we're kind of like rebuilding his um, his lot and putting a trailer park here. We're trying to make a kind of nice looking trailer park for him to live on. Um, I want this one to be backed in and not straight. I've decided. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I am gonna scoot this over. I've decided. I also want to put right here. I'm gonna leave this kind of closed off. Is there enough space for a dumpster right here? Oh, there's plenty of space. Okay, that's good. So at my grandma's house, in my grandma's condo, they have a like sort of similar situation where there's like a dumpster in the parking lot um, for easy access for everybody. So that might be kind of nice, to be honest. One, two, three. Um, wait, what did I just do? I want to scoot everything over just a bit. Yeah? Okay, that's better. Easy access. Okay. 
The badly parked pickup truck is definitely Johnny's. Yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Gatsu, Desi, Daphne, Lauren, thank you for the for the subs. Okay. Cool. So would they have I mean, I guess there'd probably be like little walkways. Um I don't know. Maybe we have like a kind of a wider pathway through the middle. And the middle could have like No, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it like that or not. I'm not sure. Where does this go? Like that? Oh, that's bad then. Hold on. Like that? Maybe I should scoot this back one too. Basketball court! Oh! Oh no, I can't scoot it back one. It has to be there because that's how these fit together. I guess a basketball court would be kind of fun. It just takes up so much space. But it'd be kind of a cute addition to have something like that shared. I don't know, we can think about that. That's a fun idea. I'm still not sure if I wanna do this with like, so obviously right now I'm just using concrete right here. I don't know if I want this to be made with concrete or if I want it to be like let me just fill it all in with gravel for a second I think that gravel out here is probably okay like gravel in that section I don't know if this part should be gravel or if it should be terrain paint because it might be oh no it might be better if the interior like smaller pathways are terrain paint and we have like the main stuff like the outdoor stuff be like proper gravel or whatever um, I don't know. There are pavers that have gravel in between them, so we could use that. Or we could use debug pavers. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Selena, uh, thank you for the, for the resub too. I think the gravel in the parking lot looks good though. And then this part we can do terrain paint for. Um, do you like the gravel pavers? I think that looks, I mean, I think that looks good, right? I kind of messed it up by doing it like this. Do you want to put yourself through placing all of that? I mean, no, that's the thing. I guess I, I don't want to put myself through having to individually place all of the, um, the debug pavers. <laughs> so you're probably right about that. I probably don't want to do that. Um, Okay, I don't know if that's good or not. Let's save the game. I don't know how we're gonna fill in the rest of it. I know, 16th rows. That's like the most fun part about this pack is just that like, there's, there's so many options for the kind of stuff that you can build with it. Like, it's just, it's all so different. <laughs> and there's, there's so many options that we can use. It's making it really fun to build around here. Um, okay. Too many options, not enough time. Yeah, seriously. So, so should there be like, I know it's Oasis Springs, but do you think it would be okay to have some bushes? <laughs> Again, I know it's Oasis Springs, but do you think it would be okay if I had actual bushes? Cause I would like to have some more landscaping in. We'll put them like in a planter box. So we'll put like probably dirt and then a fence around it or something. Um, we need it to be a little bit more lush. We'll do it. We'll do some deserty plants too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself the the option to have in some actual bushes. Quite a f few bushes would be fine in the desert in real life, right? As long as they're ready and taken care of. I don't know, it's just that like, this is not what's around here. So, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, should there be like a, do you guys think that we should put a walkway down this way? 
and like fill that in with gravel because then Sims could technically walk down through here unless you wanted to put more bushes. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think I want to do like a, a slightly different variety of roof colors and textures out here. I like the idea of that. I don't know how, I don't know if I want to use that one. I like the idea of using one of the new ones, but it might not work out and that's okay. <laughs> It might not end up being good, and that's uh, that's okay. I don't know. I think it'd be fun if they were all sort of slightly different. Um, would hopscotch place in there? Oh, we can put some hopscotch somewhere. I like that. No, the pack's not out now. We have early access. The pack comes out tomorrow, technically. Um, metal roofing in the desert would be bad, methinks. Well, they it was metal before, and it's metal in Strangerville too. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I like the middle, I think. You're not gonna be touching the roof, so. Okay. You don't know if you should get the pack? Well, I'll tell you this much. I really like it. And I've played it a lot, I really like it. But I will acknowledge that it's kind of expensive. All the Sims packs are kind of expensive. So like, it would never hurt for you to wait and get the pack like, you know, in a couple months if it goes on sale, right? Um, so if you're if you're like thinking about it, uh, it would it would never be a bad thing to hold off and wait for it to go on sale, you know? Um, okay. This one's gonna need to have some stuff messed with it. Do we like this? I think I like this. Maybe have this one be like, I don't know what I'll have Johnny's S look like, but we'll see. Rocks on the path to make it more curvy. Well, so we talked about doing it with um, terrain paint instead. <sighs> um, to make it like a little bit more curvy, but we're not sure. Well, so C+, I've been talking to people about that a lot because it, it's come up a lot recently um, as people have been asking questions about the pack and stuff. Uh, the question is, if you don't like to build, would you like the pack as much? Um, and obviously, I don't know what, what you like to do in The Sims, but it's not just, like, obviously for me, the building is kind of like the main thing that I'm excited about. But the gameplay change of being able to live in custom apartments, this means that you can live in apartments in any world. <laughs> And that's not something that only builders care about. Like, if you like to play The Sims, um, I, I would argue that you probably like the idea of your Sims living in apartments. At least I do. Um, and, and with this, you can have an apartment anywhere. Um, and, like, people are going to upload loads of apartments to the gallery that you can use. So, um, I don't know. I, I think that, like, that alone uh, is a really fun addition to this pack. So... Um, yeah, and like, so Brew says, I don't play with apartments, but the idea of my Sims being able to live in a little village on the same lot, because Brew plays a lot of, um, like, the... Why am I blanking on the word? I was gonna say the historical legacy challenge, but that's not right! <laughs> anyway, Brew plays a lot of, like, old-timey- Decades challenge! Dear God. The decades challenge. Brew plays a lot of the decades challenge. Um, and so Brew likes to live in, like, old-timey stuff and, like, pretend to live in old-timey stuff. And with this, you can make, like like old timey villages, you know, you can sort of use it in different ways. It doesn't have to be an apartment. Um, you can kind of customize it to be whatever you need it to be for your gameplay. And I just think that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, anyway, anyway, that seems pretty good. Do these lights fit up? How, what's the exact number of tiles? Oh my goodness, you guys. Do you want to put some more lights over here? Because that's exactly right, too. Am I doing too much? Maybe. 
Don't really care though. It's worth it to me. For me, it is beautiful and it is worth it. You can never have enough fairy lights, so. There's no such thing as too much, chat says. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, that's perfect. That's just what I wanted to hear. Um, okay, let's use this little fence. Oh, that's kind of clipping annoyingly. Well, we'll just, we'll put something there to cover that so you can't see it as much. Those lights come in the toddler stuff pack, believe it or not. <laughs> um, those are from the toddler stuff pack. Good for this purpose though. No, so you can't make a business and a residential lot on the same lot. You can make multiple residential lots on the same lot with this pack. You can't do multiple, uh, you can't do like different types of lots all together on one. It's just multiple residentials that you can do. Um, so. Okay. That's an interesting start. I do like how this looks. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be cool to have like like shops below some like apartments or something, but you can't do that with this pack, unfortunately. Um, just just you can have um, in this one, all you can do is have multiple residentials. So okay, can you rent out a room in city living? People ask this all the time. I think that there's like a fundamental misunderstanding of how The Sims Four like categorize 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 categorizations work. Oh my God, I can't speak. Um, so you class it as one of these types of residentials, right? And you could only do this on a lot that you can change the lot type for. So any lot basically in The Sims 4 is fine, but the secret lots, you know how you can't change the lot type? You can't like put a house on a secret lot. You can't put a bar on a secret lot. It just is the secret lot. You can't change those, so you can't do it there. In apartments, you can't change the lot type of an apartment, so you can't like make a rental residential in one of the San Myshuno apartments because they're already apartments. Um, you have to pick. Um, what the heck is a secret lot? Like the secret lots in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, the one that you like access through the tree in Willow Creek, um, you can get to a secret lot in there and you can't change the lot type of that secret lot. Um, so it has to just stay the secret lot. You can't build anything there, so you can't build a rental there either, you know? Um, or like in Sixum, the space one, yeah, so you can't build stuff like that in those areas either. Um, shall we put some bikes? That's a kid's bike. That's so fun. <laughs> when does the pack come out again? Oh, it comes out, um, Tomorrow is when this pack releases. Where's the big one from Growing Together? That's a kid's bike, that's a kid's bike. Kid's bike, kid's bike, kid's bike, big bike, okay. Um, let me get another one of these too. What about rental lots from Snowy Escape? Like, like vacation lots? Is that what you're asking? Um, so, so you can't make a house be a vacation rental and a, a residential rental. It has to be a vacation rental or a residential rental. Does that make sense? You can't have both at the same time. Um, you can't have two of any lot type at any point. So I like that bike rack. I think that's so cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can't, you can't have, um, you have to pick and choose. You can't do multiple of the same. Um, just like anything else. You can't have a tiny house and an apartment you can't have a tiny house and a haunted house either, you know, like from, um, what's it called? Paranormal stuff pack. So, what pack do the bikes come from? Oh, these two on the ends are growing together. This one's Eco Life University, sorry, this one's University, and this one is Cottage Living bonus item. So, um, okay, cool. Let's pick a little door. This place is gonna have a lot of packs. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh God, should I use this door? It's like my favorite door in the game. Maybe I will. Um, we are making a trailer park, my lane. Yeah, we are. Um, I'm really liking it. I think it's turning out like really cute. I don't know. I think it's cool. 
I think it's cool. But anyway, we wanted to build this today on purpose so that we could ex experiment with some of the new packs. So it was kind of intentional, the desire to use some of the new packs. I don't really like how this is looking yet. Should we do terrain paint in between them? I'm not sure. Um, also, should I give them a yard? Because I, I did kind of like that concept, but that makes this one, they don't have that much room. Terrain paint between them would be nice. That means that these people have like barely any yard too, but I guess I could close it off like this and then we can make them have that as their yard somehow. Um, okay. Oops. Yards take up too much space, doesn't seem to fit. Yeah, let me just see if we can make it work real quick and then if it's bad, we'll get rid of it. Yeah? Um, but let's, let's just see really quickly if we're able to make it work. Cause we might be able to make it work and that would be cool if we could. I would be excited if we could. Um, there's not special doors for rentals. The rentals are based on rooms. So you can set pretty much any, um, anything to be a rental. So you, you base it when I switch the lot type. Um, you determine which room is what. So you can say it's shared, you can say it belongs to a unit, you can say it belongs to a new unit. Um, that's kind of how it works. So it's not based on doors, it's based on rooms. Um, okay. Yeah, some people worried before the pack came out that it might be based on doors. I didn't think that it would be, but everybody was like really panicking about it. So uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit on stream, the possibility of that, but um, okay. What if they had cute little guys? What if they had cute little patios like this though? Like what if they each had their own little cute yard? It is kind of cute. It is kind of cute. <laughs> Um, Kira, thank you for the nine months. I hope you and Dan and Snap and the sewer kittens are well. Thank you so much. I hope that you're well too. Maybe Sierra, sorry. <laughs> Sierra missed. Oh, your name is Sierra. It must be. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I like the fenced in areas. And then we can do terrain paint to split up all the rest of the areas. And we'll, we'll do like, um, some terrain paint to separate it all. I might give them like a, maybe over here there could be another community space. I don't know exactly what we'll do yet, but I like the vibes of that. I also like this little covered tent because the thing is, it's going to be so hot. It'd be nice if like one of them had a little covered section because then they could have like some places to sit that's covered. Um, okay. I like the vibes of this actually a lot. <laughs> Maybe I'll have this be gravel. I don't know. The tent is from the new pack. It's from For Rent, so. I don't know. Should we put another one over here? Or am I going too overboard by doing that? I might be going a little bit overboard by doing that, but I like it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Overboard, but I like it. Oh, okay. But look, they have some, like... Privacy that way, that's good, right? Your sims can have pets in the apartment. Yeah, the, this is another one that people have been like panicking about. They get, they ask about it all the time. Um, it, these apartments, they work just like a regular lot. And I'm not kidding when I say that. The game sees this as basically each rental as being its own individual regular lot. So you can do all the same things that you can in regular lots, like have a dog, <laughs> move in from Manage Worlds, like move out from Manage Worlds. It, it, it works the same. Um, it's just, uh, you can kind of build it custom and have units and stuff um, instead of having to have like fake ones, you know? So it's a lot within a lot, kind of. <laughs> um, all right. All right, all right. Did I save recently? No. No, 
Lotception. Can you have a horse? I haven't tried that yet, so I don't know. You can't have horses in the San Myshuno apartments, but I've not tried to have a horse here. So I'm not really sure. Um, so they just have some like little windows like this. I feel like maybe. We can do different color. Um, we'll do different colors on all of them, you know, to kind of split it up a little bit. They said you could add horses. Well, there you go. You can have horses, confirmed. Um, they apparently said that, so that's good. Um, get rid of this. Close it up. Can you give them goats and lambs? I, I would assume you can. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, but I haven't tried that either. I've been a little bit preoccupied building, so. <laughs> um, okay, I really like the idea of this unit having some pretty flower boxes. Should I make them kind of reddish? Cause their roof is kind of reddish. Can you set different prices for each unit? Yeah, yeah, you can change the prices separately per unit. You can change the lot traits separately per unit. Um, you have a lot of power to like really customize what the units look like. Um, lots of, lots of stuff to change for them all. Um, okay. I don't like how that looks. <laughs> um, should we have like three of these maybe? I guess that's fine. That's a lot of windows, but that's nice to have a lot of windows. Are there lot requirements? No, there's lot recommendations. Um, and it tells you like, maybe you should add a kitchen, <laughs> but you don't have to. The only problem is if you don't add those things in, um, they don't really like it. Like you're not gonna make a lot of money doing that because the value of like the max rent that you can set is based on the value of your lot. So the um, like the less stuff you have in there and like the worse the apartment, the less you can charge for rent. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how it works and like exactly what the, um, the, the requirements are to like or requirements or like whatever, whatever, I'm still trying to figure out what affects the rent, I guess I should say, cause I'm, I'm not really 100% sure like how the game determines what the max rent is. Cause I was playing with it a little bit earlier. Um, and to give an example, like I had one apartment um, that had, I'm gonna post this video on YouTube in a couple days, but I built one, it was like a house that had, it was a house and then it had a couple bedrooms inside and the bedrooms were for rent. And then the whole place was like shared um, so they had like a shared kitchen, shared living room. Um, and I, I thought that the nicer room, it had like the double bed. Um, it had like a little bit more expensive furniture. That room had a lower max rent than the other room. One of them had a double bed, one had two single beds. And the room with two single beds had a slightly higher by like 10 simoleons max rent. And so I think that number of beds contributes to how much the rent is. Like the, if you have more beds, I think that it, will let you charge slightly more. Um, it's kind of what I'm getting out of that. Um, but overall, I'm not really 100% sure um, how it's determined, so. I don't think it's amount of objects. I think it has to do more with value, but like some things impact it more. So like having more beds is a big impact. So tile size, um, the environment score. So like, you know how some of the paintings have like um, you see how this has like, nope, never mind, not that one. This one, no, none of those, none of those. You see how this has environment one, and then like some of these have environment two and more. Environment score gives you more points, so. Anyway, I'm not really 100% sure how the game determines it, but. <laughs> something like that. Um, would two beds be more expensive than one double? Well, the other one, it had more expensive furniture in general, aside from the bed. So anyway, the bed was like the, a bigger deciding factor, I think, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Um, not really sure how the game determines the max rent. Most people don't want to pay the max rent price anyway. Like most of the time when you have like, uh, your Sims trying to set the price of the lot or whatever, most times the, the 
townies won't pay the max rent because they their their personal budget is lower than what the max rent is. So, um, okay. Those are nice. Let me get an AC unit because that's a good way to have something like in this in-between area because we probably can't have windows in here, you know? Um, is the wallpaper still laggy? Well, worse than that, it's not, it's not necessarily just the wallpaper now. Um, what I've noticed about the lag is that it's any entire residential rental. <laughs> So I'm building this as just a regular residential because as soon as you make it a residential rental, it lags a lot. So I'm building this as just a normal residential and then I swap it. It doesn't lag in live mode, but it struggles in build mode. So I'm building these as like normal houses and then I'll swap them to rentals at the end. So it's only in build mode. It's not in live mode. It's only in build mode that it has problems, um, but it's pretty annoying, so. That's the situation. Um, okay, I think there'll be a kitchen in here. I don't know if I like how that looks from the outside, but it's maybe okay. Lag is my enemy. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. It's pretty bad. Um, I was pretty upset by that, so. What if you put the vacancy sign? Wouldn't they have to accept the rent value you put? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about when I say this. Um, so this is gonna be Johnny's house. Let me just set it to number one. Um, set this to number two. So if I wanted to rent this out, um, you have to like pick, fill vacancy, hello? Okay, so you have to pick someone. You see how these people can pay 69 and these people can pay 38? My rent is set at 45, that's what it defaults into. Um, the max rent is, you know, 90. I could change it to 38 and then rent to them. Um, but it deter there's like usually a list of who's willing to pay to rent. Or you can just move them in from Manage Worlds. And from Manage Worlds, you can have anybody live anywhere. Um, you can have anybody anywhere from Manage Worlds. So. Okay. Um, I think I am liking this. I feel like that's coming along nicely. Maybe this one can be a cute little green color. Perhaps. This is so cute. Thanks, Christine. I'm really liking how this is looking. I, I'm excited about it. I think it's kind of fun. Maybe it should be green and pink. What if I make this one be green and pink on purpose? What color should Johnny's be? Maybe Johnny's house can... Oh, no, that's bad. That is ugly. Well, maybe it's okay. Can I do green with the brown roof? Do you think Johnny would have a green one with a brown roof? Maybe it could be yellow. It's it's only a slight yellow, but it's, oh, that's kind of zesty. It should, okay, I think it should be yellow so it can be zesty. You know? I don't really like how that one looks, but <laughs> we'll see what I can do with the windows. <laughs> we'll see if I can improve it. Um, we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Um, this one's a little bit longer. Oh, I could scoot this over. Oh, that gives us more space. That's an improvement. Okay. Let me open up your front door too. Oh, that's quite good. Okay. Um, maybe your house could be like, um... I don't know if the roof is bad or not. This is kind of what I was picturing. Oh, yeah, I think the roof is is a poor choice. Let's do a different kind of roof, maybe. Um, one, two, three. Okay, it's a little uggo, but I'll, guys, I'm gonna make it work, okay? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'll make it good, I promise. It's gonna be so fine. Just give me a minute. I gotta figure it out first. That's not what I want. I don't really want that either. Um, 
Ugo but zesty? Oh no, you think so? That is kind of ugly, but zesty. I don't really like a lot of these planter boxes. Oh my goodness! No, give them this one. Is it okay size down twice, do you think? I could probably leave it sized up one more than that. Because that is cute. I like how it has the different flower colors. That adds to the vibes. I like how they're all kind of different, I guess. That is the best flower box in the game. Like, hands down, no question. Best flower box in the game. Um. Okay. Um. If I use one of the base game windows that has, like... I kind of want to get one of these. Over here. I don't know, it's a little different, it's kind of fun. Flower box pack, maybe? Oh my gosh, I would love that. We always need more flower boxes. That would be a fun touch. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're building a trailer park right now, Kayla Jones. This is, um, we're building it where Johnny Zest lives. We're kind of like redoing Johnny Zest's house um to make a more fun one so he'll have some neighbors now he'll live in this one and then have some neighbors okay johnny let me see if i can fix your foundation i don't really like this anymore but we'll see maybe one of the wait is it silly that i have a bunch of ideas like designs for a pack i don't even have yet in my head no that's not silly i get it <laughs> Listen, you've come to the right place to discuss that. <laughs> Everybody here in chat is in the exact same boat. Everybody here has been like daydreaming about this. I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody, but speaking for myself, I have been daydreaming about this pack for years. And ever since we heard about it, I've been thinking up all kinds of things that I want to build with it. <laughs> um, and now we actually have it. And so uh, I've been thriving. Uh, and you are not weird at all for, for having visions of what you want to build when you get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, Akil and Zen and Lift and Ninja and yes, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. That's cool. Should we go back to having these pavers instead of terrain paint then? Because we could do like... I don't know, it could be like ever so slight. Is that better? I liked the idea of terrain paint, but I don't know. This could probably be extended. Let me think about this. If we just try a couple things, we may be able to make it work. Them having grass in the desert is wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry for my uh, giving them of grass everywhere in the desert. I think it's fake grass. It's like, it's like, um, turf or whatever. I think it's a good call. It just looks cool. Um, okay. Maybe grass exists in the desert. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's a logical thing to have, you know? <laughs> Just because it exists doesn't mean it's logical that it does. Um, it, it, this is a, a desert world, so it's, um, you know, it'd be kind of to try and water that to keep it alive is, I mean, in general, the existence of grass is not, like, people having all grass yards is not really good, so. Okay. Um, what do you guys think about that? A little bit of bush separation over there, maybe? Should I do the same bushes over here? Or should I have flowers or something? I don't know. I like the bushes, though. 
I like how it gives me some separation. You don't understand why grass is bad? Well, it would be better, obviously, to have like native plants to your area <laughs> um, and to not be trying to water this pristine little grass yard. Um, it's, it's not as good for the environment to do that, so. She says that she puts a bunch of grass yards in her Sims game. <laughs> but anyway, that's why, that's why. Um, okay. Um, wrap the bush around the house, like everywhere, like over here. We could, I was kind of thinking about trying to get like some separation to have some more divide over here, but I guess it makes more sense to wrap it. Does it come out at 9 p.m. Eastern time? What, like tonight? Ooh, unfortunately not, no. Um, the pack, it comes out tomorrow. I believe that it doesn't come out at midnight though. I think it comes out in the afternoon tomorrow, which is better than it coming out at midnight Eastern time. Um, I think it comes out in the afternoon, yeah? Is that correct? Is anybody sure by any chance? Um, okay. Well, that's nice, a little bit bigger now. 1 p.m. Eastern time is typical. It's either 1 p.m. Eastern time or midnight Eastern time. 1 p.m. is better, obviously, because it's earlier in the day. And I think that it's been 1 p.m. because the past few packs have been, but I'm not sure about this one. Um, but the past few packs have been. 1 p.m. Eastern time is 6 p.m. in the UK, if you're, if you are in the UK. Um, okay. Um, oh, well, that's cool. I like that, Johnny Zest. There you go. Do you think Johnny Zest would have flower boxes? Everybody else has flower boxes, but... I don't know if I want Johnny Zest to have any. Should Johnny Zest have green windows? I think I like the black ones better, actually. For his... I don't know. I don't know if he would have flower boxes. I'm not sure about him. Um. Okay, Kirsten, Rosie, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, is that tent in his yard new? Yeah, the tent, this tent comes with the, the new pack. Um, it came, it came with uh, for rent. I think it's kind of cool. It has some lights. Um, there's not flower boxes on that one either. I guess just two of them have flower boxes and that's okay. I think that's okay. Um, what if we had like, I don't know how I want to landscape most of this just yet either, but we'll see. I'm wondering if we could have like kind of a community garden vibe, kind of like in the middle over here. Um, I don't know. Does it, Leah? Really? That's good. Um, that's a that's a compliment. I think. <laughs> I think Johnny's gonna have a nice place. I like the idea of having kind of a nice place. So. Community hot tub. Okay, so we talked about that. We talked about putting some sort of hot tub over here. Um, they even kind of, to be honest, have space for a pool. Um, I don't know if I want to do that, but they do have space for a pool out here. If we'd like to give them a pool, but I, I don't know. It takes up a lot of space. Um, Second bedroom has no windows. Oh, <laughs> this one? Okay, hold on, I'll give them some windows. Here, you need one window. This kid needs one window too. Whoops. Didn't I? Oh, you know what happened? I had it before, like split up differently. We had it before, hold on. I've, I've ruined it. We were trying to have, um, before I ruined it. <laughs> we, and then I, I flipped the house around is what happened. Um, before we had it like this 
and there was gonna be a kitchen on the wall that was in between the units on purpose, but then I flipped the entrance around. The entrance was in the back and now it's in the front. So that's why it got messed up. Okay, that explains a lot. Well there, now the kid was supposed to have a window, but it, it did get messed up. Sorry, kid. So sorry. I don't know if I want to do that for you, but we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> Astrock or Sid Rosie, thanks for the subs. The children don't get natural light. <laughs> That's a terrible way of putting it. Oh my. Hot tub in the desert? Well, yeah, it might get cold out at night. I don't think it's that weird. I think it's very possible that it could get kind of cold at night. I'll give Johnny Zest some wood floors. I'm trying to use like different wood floor colors everywhere. Um, but it, it might get hot out at night. So, oh, this kid has cold out at night, sorry. Sorry, kid, you have an even smaller bedroom than your, than the rest of the houses do. Um, that's okay though. Are we doing a giveaway today? No, I'm not gonna do a giveaway today. We'll do a giveaway tomorrow though, if I can get some of the pack bot. The only thing is I need the pack to be available for purchase on like uh, Amazon or like one of the key places. If I can't get a key on um, any of the key places, then I can't do a giveaway tomorrow until I have keys. But um, we'll do a giveaway of the pack once the pack is out. It's not out yet. So there's no reason to do a giveaway of it now because no one could use it and you can't get codes. So, um, it is on CD keys right now, but this is the thing, Amy, right? The codes are not out yet. So we don't know if they're gonna deliver the codes in a timely manner tomorrow <laughs> on CD keys or not. We hope they will, but we don't know for sure. Um, how does it look for Managed Worlds? I'm kind of curious to go and check. Um, uh, no, of girls. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you if it's worth, worth it to subscribe or not, because I don't know like what's in your budget. Um, let me move my face cam so you can see this. But if you subscribe to my channel on Twitch, you don't get any ads um, and you get all of my emotes to use anywhere across Twitch and in Discord if you're in the server. Um, I don't know if that is valuable to you or not. Um, the ads are probably the bigger thing. To know, have no ads is kind of a big deal. Um, but I, again, I don't, I don't know if that's valuable to you. You have to decide if you think it's worth it. Um, in general, subscribing is, is not necessarily so much about getting perks for the individual, but also about like supporting the streamer. So um, anyway, you do get some good perks. No ads is kind of a win. If you happen to have Amazon Prime, um, which a lot of people do, uh, you get a free sub every 30 days on Twitch. Um, if you have your accounts connected because Amazon owns Twitch. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect the accounts and then subscribe for free. And I still get paid, but it's free for you because it's included in your Prime subscription. So um, if you have Prime, good thing to note. Um, don't want you to like not be using it. You know, if you've got the option, you should use it because otherwise it's just sitting there getting wasted. Um, you don't have to use it here. You can use it anywhere. Um, but forgot you had it. Yeah, it's good. It's good to remember. Um, they don't auto renew. They do that on purpose because they don't want you to use it. <laughs> They're obviously going to try and make it slightly more difficult for you to use because they want you to not use it so that um, they don't have to pay out. I mean, it, I, in an ideal scenario for any company, you don't use all your perks, you know, but um, you can use it. And then you get perks, I get paid. It's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> Fury and Lover, thanks for the Prime sub. Coriander with the sub gift. Caroline with the Prime sub. Uh, Rachel with the Prime sub. Luna, Am Luna Amber just subscribed for 60 months with Prime. Midnight Owl, B Marie, Lupo, <laughs> Purple. Thanks for all the subs. I did not mean to um, encourage this degree of Prime subs, but thank you. <laughs> that was very generous of you all. Also, hi, Hope. We're building a little trailer park where Johnny Zest lives at the moment. We're kind of... Um, upgrading Johnny's house um, at the moment. He has, this one is his, and then I'm kind of adding in some stuff for all the others. I really like it, actually. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, okay. I have to alt place all these little things. Never knew about Prime stuff. Yes, yeah, it's, it's easy to, to miss out um, and not realize that it's there, but um, definitely good to use if you already pay for Prime, like 
you're you're already paying for it. That's the thing, like you call it free, technically you already pay for it if you pay for Amazon Prime, but if you don't know it's there, it's free, you know? So, and most people don't buy Amazon Prime to get perks on Twitch, it's kind of a bonus, so. Um, <laughs> uh, Sam, Angel, Jinx, Caroline, Jenny, thank you for the subs too. Thank you so much. Okay, I like that. I think that actually worked out quite well, I would say. All the little separations. Um, let's, uh, should we figure out more of the outside first? I didn't think I'd have time to play the new pack until January, but I actually might have a window tomorrow. <gasps> oh, this is so fun. I'm excited for you. That's big, that's big. Uh, Cowplant, Snake, Cough, CT, J, Bev, uh, Corn, thank you for the subs too. What's going on, Leo, <laughs> Shay, Rebecca, what the heck? <laughs> thank you so much. Should we do a pool? We talked about doing a pool. I don't know if I liked how it looked though. Um, It would be kind of nice, but. I, it's so, it's so like deserty. I don't know if I want to have a pool. Um, he was hoping for a lawn pool then go, we will. Uh, and, and Maurice Kasari and Literalin and, and Laura and Andra and Organic and Beast and Fern, thank you so much. Small pool, mm, maybe. We did talk about doing, here's the other thing we talked about. And this is like not any less ridiculous, but um, it's kind of fun. We talked about adding like a basketball court out here because it actually fit pretty well um, in this like little tiny section. Oh, not anymore because I have the plants there, but it fit like decently well in this little tiny section. Um, and we kind of liked the idea of having basketballs, but I just do a pool and have the hoop by itself. Well, we could do that too, but I, I like the idea of using the big stuff just because it's fun. Outdoor movie theater. You no, know, we, so we talked about that. Um, I can put that in now before we forget. Can shrink the court? We could shrink the court, that's true. We could also do that. Um, little campers, look at this. And it's not really gonna rain out here much, so it won't, it won't mess with it. But we could have like a little outdoor movie set up so people can come watch a film together out here. Like, come on, how cute would that be, right? Chaotic Chrissy Jack, thank you for the subs. Little campers. I really like this pack. Specifically for that one item. Does this fit perfectly? Oh, <gasps> you guys. Okay, uh, that is a lot of fairy lights for potentially no reason. It might be too much, maybe I should stop. It's cute, but it also might be too much. We wanted to get hopscotch too. We have like these new plastic chairs from, okay, so there's like a handful of chairs I might try to use out here. Um, froggy chair. Where's the new ones? This is, this might seem to you like a silly item to get this excited about, but let me tell you, these plastic chairs, game changer absolute game changer. There's something about these that just, it it changes everything, you know? So realistic, so normal, <laughs> like, um, I really like it. They're, these are universal, these plastic chairs. <laughs> should they be in white or should they be in a color? I don't know. Um. Okay. You think white? They come in like dirty white as well, which maybe because they're outside might be good. Whereas like these other chairs, these ones would be um, maybe like folded up and brought in so they don't get as, as dirty, but those ones don't get brought in so they stayed kind of dirty. I don't know, should we do that? Um, those together. Maybe we could get like, well, there's also the one from university, right? We have a lot of chairs. 
Like, like more chairs than you'd realize. <laughs> oh, that's cute, isn't it? So you could sit out, you could watch the film from out here. I mean, come on, that's good, right? Hope your cat is typing in my chat. That's a first, that's kind of fun. I had a big problem yesterday with Sunny muting my audio. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. I, I understand where you're coming from. I, I actually had the exact same situation. <laughs> so, um, I'm looking for, you know, the bar, similar vibes with like the folding chairs, but there's like the, this bar I think would be really cute to have out here. It'll be good for the parties. Should there just be three sets of chairs instead of all of these chairs? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Becky, Miss Word, Cookie, Becky, Deadly, thank you for the subs. Picnic table? Oh, picnic table would be good. Also, yes, this TV does break in the rain, but this is the desert, so. It's not like that big of a deal. Um, if it breaks, then whatever. Maybe that's better to just do the pity tables. Maybe we'll do like, well, what if we use these chairs elsewhere and we have like pretty much all folding chairs over here by the film setup? Um, so that way we can kind of like space out what's going on and not take up too much space. Cause I like the colors. I want to get a grill too, but we're taking up a lot of room. Maybe I'll put the little grill right there. The bar, I guess, could be by the hot tub, huh? What are you building? We're making like a little um, set of trailers in a trailer park. So there's four of them and we're kind of doing the outside space right now. It might be good to have a trash can over here as well. Some sort of trash can, easy access. Um. Maybe the picnic tables would be better over this way. Cause there's more room to do the grill and stuff. If we put them over there. I don't know. I, I did like how it looked. We do have a dumpster, like a big dumpster over this way. So we don't necessarily need to have the trash can if it looks bad. So. Okay, bagel, olive, Lottie, strawberry, jello, econ, thank you for the subs. Okay, I'm confused. You're supposed to be live at eight to 11. What, like this morning, JJ? Yeah, so I, I didn't stream this morning on purpose. Um, this morning, um, I, uh, I had to record early access to the pack because we got like the full pack yesterday night. Um, so I had to make videos with it. So I couldn't stream this morning. I couldn't be live uh, cause I was a little bit preoccupied. Um, normally I'm live in the morning, but not today. Normally on a Wednesday I would be. Just been a weird day, so. Gonna do laundry in unit? I, I don't know. I wasn't really, I wasn't really thinking about doing laundry because I actually find laundry kind of annoying in this game. <laughs> but it, we could do laundry in, in unit. That might be kind of cool. Okay, let's put a flamingo in front of this person's place. Where's my lot from yesterday? Oh, well, we're doing something new today because we got excited, so. Yesterday's stream was kind of a mess. Um, I say in like the most loving way possible because we got access to the pack in like the middle of the stream and I wasn't expecting to get access because it took so long. Um, so, so there wasn't like, um, it wasn't an organized set of plans. <laughs> You know, like it kind of, it was kind of all over the place. <laughs> um, okay, for rent, let's try that. They can have like a little blue. What's that tent from? This is from the new pack, it's from for rent. Um, worked out well though. Okay, I'm glad that you think so. That's a win. I'm glad that you think so. Um, okay. That's good, right? Should I get another flamingo? There is more than one. One of them is a gnome and a flamingo at the same time. So maybe I could put that over there. Yeah, 
Oh my god, that's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> um, what if the tent goes in the community space? Well, so I put it in their front yard on purpose because I liked the idea of having a slightly covered outdoor space for these sims because um, I might put like some toys for a kid out here because um, they're gonna have a maybe like a toddler or something who lives here but um, I did it on purpose because I oh what about like playground stuff I don't know hmm anyway I I wanted to have covered outdoor space because there isn't a lot of it um, and it's gonna be hot outside because we're in the desert what if the toddler had the little kitty pool? Okay, everybody in chat is saying the same thing, so that's a good sign. That might be cute, right? It comes in like Nemo colors, which is fun. Um, let me do that. Maybe I could get a little rug laid out and then put some of their toy, oh, wrong thing. And then put some of their toys on it. That's cute, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we can put a couple toys for a little toddler on here though. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I really like the idea of playing on this lot. I think that's really nice. The flamingos are base game, Tabby. Those are just in the base game. They're not from a pack or anything. You can use them anytime. Um, okay. Um, I think, okay, that should be good for this one. You have a test tomorrow. You have an AP exam tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's horrible timing. <laughs> oh, just a te just like a test though, at least. I guess it's not like a proper, f it might be a final. This is bad timing. It's not quite finals time for like regular high school. My sister has college finals this week. Why did they have to release a pack in finals week for a lot of people, you know? That's like kind of messed up. Like, what were they thinking doing that to you all? Um, okay. You get a reward afterward, at least. <laughs> you can celebrate this weekend. Um, okay, that's for Johnny Zest. What does Johnny Zest, so he likes comedy and stuff. Um, goofball, ambitious, outgoing. He sure is ambitious. He's a landlord. He bought a bunch of housing and he's trying to extort money from people. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> we'll give him a microphone, but not outside. Most of his stuff will be inside, I think. Um, let me get some... Okay. Let's get like a, uh, oh, how about some little flowers to put in some of the deserty areas? That might be good. Okay. Okay. Should there be a tree in the middle anywhere? I just think if I added a tree in here, it would be bad. Like a tree like right here. We wanted to get some lemon trees. <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's, hold on, I might have to get a lemon tree off the gallery. Lemons. Uh, not households, rooms, rooms, rooms. Lemon tree. If you're ever looking for like, sometimes stuff like this for The Sims 4, um, like specific items and stuff, um, like ambrosia, for example, a lot of times people upload like final versions of it to the gallery. <laughs> So you can get them that way. Um, maybe rocks instead of flowers. Oh, I'm gonna do um, rocks and flowers, I think. It's kind of what I was thinking. But it makes it easy because you can get some full grown stuff that way. Oh, that's a different one, oops. Oops, this is the same one I was using. Okay. Um. I don't know. Kind of rotate them around so they don't look the same. Okay. 
What is the lemon Laura Slim from the US? Oh, are you asking if like me adding lemons is related to me being American and that it's like a meme that you're missing? It's not. Um, me adding lemons is because Johnny Zest lives here and he's zesty. Um... <laughs> That's all. <laughs> the game said pear tree when I clicked it. Did it? Oh my god, you guys, I got scammed! Wow. They said lemon on the gallery. Is that one a lemon? That one's a lemon. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I got scammed. Wow. Well, triple check if you get things off the gallery. It's a good pro tip, but also check. <laughs> okay, well, that looks good though. The little lemons there. I like it. I just got zested, yeah. Um, okay, some rocks maybe? That's nice. Perhaps. Is it the combo lemon pear plantain? It might have been a combo tree. I didn't look that closely at it. All I did was accuse them of scamming me and that was probably wrong, but... <laughs> No, they didn't scam me. They probably like mislabeled it or it had all of them and I didn't realize. Um, you think the planters aren't evenly spaced? That one is farther away, yeah, I think. There we go, that should be fine. Okay, the next question is, do we need any other big landscaping or is this okay? It might be okay. Um, okay, maybe? I'm giving Johnny Zest a bunch of gnomes, I guess. I don't really know why. I guess he's just gonna have them. Mm -mm. <laughs> Scully Squish, thank you so much. Um, okay. Yeah, I think the outside's actually coming together quite nicely. Maybe these people, maybe in this front yard, they could have a little table. Maybe I'll give them like, oh wait, the, they have a second bedroom. These people have kids. So maybe I'll put like, do the monkey bars fit? Probably not. Oh no, way too tight. Okay, maybe they could have a slide. A toddler slide. Well, the other people have a toddler. What about hopscotch? We wanted hopscotch. That doesn't fit either. Can I put it, I'll put hopscotch over here. Hopscotch. Just ordered the new pack and use my coat. Well, that was very nice of you, James. Um, if you guys missed it, uh, they're doing another test run of the creator codes again. They did one a while back um, and they're doing a test run again of the creator codes until like the end of March, I think. Um, and if you if, if you put like Lil Simsy or some other creator's name um, that has one in the promo code box at checkout in the EA app, um, It'll, it'll pay us a commission on the Sims pack that you buy. Um, so that's kind of a nice way to, to support creators that you like without having to spend extra money yourself. Um, it, it just like makes EA earn less money off of your purchase. <laughs> and a lot of people were already gonna buy the pack. So um, it's kind of nice in that way. Um, okay, what if they had like some sports equipment? No, I don't really like that. Some people were saying a sandbox, but I don't know if I should do that because everything is sand here. I don't know if I can fit it in that nicely. The swings are too big. We can maybe do marbles. We could probably fit the marbles ring. Unless, would it be better to have like... I don't know. Card table. Oh, a card table is such a cute idea. Wait, let's do cards. Do you guys wanna do cards instead? I really like that. Okay, that's better. Maybe I'll put some folding chairs out here too because it is outside. We can get these. 
Oh, that would be so fun to play cards out here. And they could have like a soccer ball too. So they have a bunch of different colored chairs. That might be kind of fun. I think that's kind of cute actually. Okay. Rainbow soccer ball? Does it, I guess it does come in rainbow. We could, oh, didn't work for a second. We can put rainbow. The new plastic chairs. Oh, we were gonna use those in one of the other lots. I don't know if we should do the new ones. Like what the heck? Didn't place them. My stuff is disappearing. <laughs> My stuff's disappearing. <laughs> Dan just sent me a tweet from Drag Race with the promo image for the new season. Drag Race season 16 premieres Friday, January 5th. This is kind of fun. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, the game won't save, so that's no good. It's taking a while. Um... And it just had like a little problem. So. <laughs> hmm. Katie and Paige, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, guys, I don't know about this. We're in a we're in a bad situation right now. I saved recently, so it should be okay. Do you guys remember when I saved? Was I doing the front yard of the other unit? Like 10 minutes ago? Okay. At the lemon trees I saved? Okay. That's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Are you still replacing hopscotch? Oh, really? Let's build the Lego stuff now. Oh, okay, let's give it a minute longer, just in case. And I'll build my Lego advent calendar item from today. How about that? It's an, it's like an ice sculpture. Um, so I'll build that while I wait for it to say. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is this little tiny piece, it's like the base. Um, and on that, I need to put, oh God, I dropped a piece. This is kind of a boring item, but it's okay. So you put those together, you can't see it cause it's white. So just take my word for it. And then on top of that goes this kind of interesting, like sparkly thing. And then on top of that goes like a little flat piece. Oops, it didn't work. Surely it fits in there, right? Guys, I think I'm getting scammed. It doesn't close. Hmm. Maybe I put it backwards. Does it go? No. Okay, this is not going well. Didn't see the mini brands one. Oh, our mini brands advent calendar. We got a Slurpee. It was kind of cool. Ah! Two hands. I dropped it earlier too. Yeah, guys, I can't. Um, I'm supposed to put, look, there's supposed to be like a little blue piece on there, but I can't get it to press all the way down. It's like kind of floating. So it might break, but I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, the game still won't save. I don't like this one. I can't get it to stay this, I can't get it to stay together. So that's kind of making me angry. 
Oh, I got it to fit. I got it to fit. It worked this time. Okay, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but it worked. So, in the picture, it's not diagonal, but I put it diagonal and it fit diagonally. So, I don't know. I tried it and it worked. Um, and then on this thing, there goes like some little bits. I don't like this one. I don't, this is a, okay. And then the last thing we have to do is put one of these plain pieces on top. I know you can't see it, I'll show you now. That's the ice sculpture from today's advent calendar. Flop. Boring, dare I say. Okay, and the game still hasn't saved, so um, <laughs> I think that means we should close the game and try again. Here we go. I'm gonna force it to go away. It's okay. I don't think the Alt F4 thing will work, Christine, because it was already saving. Like the saving is when it broke, you know? But it's okay, we'll fix it. You look super enthusiastic about your tiny Lego sculpture. I mean, listen, the Legos we've gotten, of all the days, I liked a couple of them. Day one was like, it's like a snowboarding snowman, but one of his, it's a skiing snowman, but one of his skis is gone, so he's snowboarding. Um, and then day two was this like little reindeer crossing sign. Meh, but then I got a reindeer and that was good. But then the past couple days have been like really hockey vibes. Like I got a literal hockey player and while he's cool and has ice skates, I just don't care about hockey, so I don't know. This one I haven't even built yet. It was a hockey goal. <gasps> oh, Jesus. It was open. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I last saved at 5.46 p.m. 10 minutes ago. That's fine. About five minutes of that was spent um, waiting for the game to save a second time, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Whoa, Shan, whoa. You be nice to the maple leaves. Did the bot just tell me to save? That's actually insulting. It's on a timer, <laughs> but the bot pops up. You should save your game, Kayla. Oh, really? Moobot, really, you think? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, I don't think this is too bad. It was mostly, yeah, yeah, it was just, it was just this yard, so. It's okay. Are we talking about the Maple Leafs, my hockey team? Um, the Maple Leafs, my hockey team. I'm a massive Maple Leafs fan, huge supporter. And I'm not making that up. That's true, true story. So, it crashed. Yeah, we had, um, the game refused to save. <laughs> So I had a bit of a moment just then, but it's okay, we're back now. Um, I will not be switching to the, the new chairs. Originally I was going to, um, but I've realized that's a bad idea because when I tried to do that, well, bad things happened to me, so. <laughs> okay, this is fine. We've got it back to how it was. So we should be okay there. We actually didn't mess up with anything. That We, we waited for way too long. It would have been fine if we had started over. Um, okay. So, do you guys wanna furnish? I guess I should do this person's yard. What should we put in the last yard? And then also, what else should we put in Johnny Zest's yard? Oh, I should give them, wait, we should make sure that we put some like soccer stuff in the kids' room. Cause um, we're making this like, they have a soccer ball, so. Telescope, ooh. They can have a telescope, I like that idea. That would be kind of cute. These people only have one bedroom, so we don't need to give them too, too much. Um, 
soccer house first is your vote. We can start with the soccer house. I like their little house. Maybe they have a Grim Reaper. It kind of matches the vibes, so. Lounge chair? Oh, a lounge chair might be kind of cute. I could give them a little lounge chair in their front yard. Lounge chair and death by meteor. How about that? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, the swing set will be too big to put over here. We could maybe fit a swing set over here. Oh no, even then it's too big. Yeah, we can't. Water balloon in one of the yards? Oh, water balloons would be cute. They take up a lot of space is the only thing. Maybe I could put the water balloon bucket over here though, in this like kind of open area. That might be kind of nice. We need to get a table. That's what I kept trying to put and then I distracted myself. But we can put a table and then like the drinks tray or something. No, Sims can't die from sunbathing. They can die, um, I guess they can die from the heat. Um, so if there's a heat wave, they can die, but it, it won't be like caused by the sunbathing. It'll be caused by the heat and like being out in the heat. How about some, a nice lemonade tray? Summer drink pitcher. Yeah, that seems nice. They can get sunburnt though, but they won't die from it, which I guess is a good thing. All right, what else? What should Johnny Zest have? Oh, wind chimes would be cute. Oh, I like that. Okay. Microphone? Well, he's gonna have a microphone in his house. I'm- I'm more thinking like what should he have in his patio? Because he needs to have some stuff out here to kind of fill it all in. Um, no, wind chimes are from the backyard stuff pack. They're- they're kind of old. They didn't come out from the update or anything. We've had them for a while. So, okay, how about this guy goes right here? Rocking chair and guitar. Oh yeah, that might be good. He could maybe have his own grill too. But if I put like, if I put his own grill and like a little table, are the people gonna try and use his table instead of like the one over there? I don't know, they might try and use it wrong. Hmm. You playing this stream? No, we're probably just gonna build. We've been building for a while, so. If I mark it as his unit, they won't, but this isn't a room, so I can't really do that very easily. It's all gonna be shared space, because we can't get it, um, we can't have like a room. If I try and put a room on the ground, it'll like go to the height of the foundation, so. This one's gonna be Johnny's S unit, the one that we're in right now. I could lock gates, but I'm not really that worried. I don't really care to lock them. Like I, I like the idea of people kind of going around to them, so. Well, let's figure out his yard once we actually furnish it. Tilly, you said you wanted to furnish the, the soccer sports apartment first, because we can do this one first if you want. I'm open to that, okay. Let's furnish the inside of this one then. There is like, I'm gonna do the kids room first cause that excites me. <laughs> there is like kind of a sporty wallpaper too. If I can find the right swatch of it, look at that. Sports. Um, and then. We'll get some blinds too for the kid. They'll probably have like, let's try and bring in maybe some, some orange potentially as an accent color in this room. No. I want a bed that has some orange on it, but that one's too much. So how about, wait, snowy escape. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. Never mind. Oh, that bed is so nice. 
Does high school years have any sporty beds? You say parenthood has a sporty bed? We can do that. Oh, it's not really sporty sporty. That actually kind of matches though. The color scheme somehow kind of works. So the base, the base game one now um, has like a sports swatch. You're thinking of this one. Um, but I use that one a lot. So I was trying to try and do something else. That used to be from Parenthood, but it's not anymore. Um, we can try that one because I did say I wanted to be orange. So Parenthood, maybe you could have this. Maybe they'll have like a little desk or I really like the parenthood furniture. We can do like a little dresser too. Um, okay. Sports, that's like a little trophy. High school years has some. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were thinking of before, but it's okay, we can do this instead. Like we don't have to. There's, there's a few options of sporty beds and I, I think I'm set on this one now. <laughs> I think I've committed. Maybe they could like sports and science. Sports and science are always fun. Maybe I'll get another like sort of fun color to that. Oh, that's cool, right? Yeah, Sims can own more than one residential lot. You can have basically as many residential lots. Um, well, I don't know if you can have as many as you want. That's what I was gonna say, but I don't know if that's true. You can have lots. You can own multiple residential lots in this game. Um, you can have like five if you wanted to or whatever. Um, yeah, Priya, we're building a trailer park. It looks like this. Um, there's like four units going on. So we haven't finished the back corner where the outside space is shared. And we've obviously only started furnishing it. So is the dino accessible? No, I don't think so, Lena, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but I'm not too worried about that. I, I more just want them to, to have it for like the looks. So cats and dogs. Okay, that's cute. I don't like that anymore. When did I last save? Um, a few minutes ago. What if it breaks again when I try and save? Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. That was kind of scary actually just then. Um, <laughs> it, it took a moment and I got a little nervous <laughs> that it wasn't gonna work, but I think we're okay. <laughs> That was a that was a tense moment, but we made it through. <laughs> we made it through. All right, let's do like maybe a little rug. It can be kind of simple, just underneath the bed, like that maybe. Will one unit have a pet? So here's the thing, Dracula. To an extent, I I almost want to furnish these units in a slightly generic way. Because in game, if you were to use these, um, like if we make it very specific, like, oh, the Sim has a dog, oh, the Sim has a cat. Um, if you wanted to play as the landlord in here, um, or if you just filled it with like random townies, they wouldn't fit the storyline. So I think to a slight degree, I might furnish them kind of generically, just because that way it's it's easy to be played in. Where like you put any random townie in there and it'll pretty much make sense, you know? Um, it'll, it'll be like slightly better gameplay wise. Sunny's doing good, Lisa, thanks for asking. She's, um, she's doing good today. She's been fine. It was like, it, it was at its worst on Sunday um, and I just couldn't get her a vet appointment until Tuesday, so. That didn't help. Um, my my cat Sunny, she got spayed last Tuesday, um, and so uh, she was fine. But then she was having like an over grooming problem where she was like scratching her neck. The vet and I think because she was stressed out, which makes sense because she had major surgery. And then the first two nights, she got separated from her brother because I didn't want to leave them by themselves overnight because they kept trying to wrestle and I thought that was really dangerous of them to be doing after she had surgery. So I kept them apart overnight and they're bonded so they were very stressed about being apart overnight. But I was worried about her like hurting herself. So anyway, they're sleeping together now so they're fine. But I think that she scratched herself so much out of stress that she made it itchy. So then it continued. 
Anyway, <laughs> at least she didn't touch her stitches. She just scratched her neck. So. <laughs> She's one of us. We were joking about how I too, um, I too scratch myself. I like pick at my skin when I get nervous. So I get it. I have no room to judge, Sunny. Like we're all the same here, so. Um, but yeah, she had, she had a rough time, I think, after getting spayed, but it's okay. It's okay. She's feeling a bit better, I think. Um, past couple days have been pretty good. Okay, how about that? They don't each have two bedrooms. A couple of them have two bedrooms, and a couple are one bedrooms. So. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, though. That's a good start for now. And then this will be the primary bedroom. We're gonna have the kitchen be along this back wall. I was kind of excited about the idea here. Um, they were just over it when they got fixed, really? Yeah. Um, I bet, I bet that like it's, I mean, you imagine you're, you're just like a little tiny kitten and then <laughs> you get dragged to the vet, um, which like leaving the house is already stressful enough. <laughs> and then you get dragged to the vet and then you have to be there for a while until they can get to your surgery. And then they give you surgery. And then you wake up from the surgery and you're like, oh my God, I feel so weird. And then you get put on meds, but you don't understand you're on meds. So you just feel really weird inside and you don't know why, cause you're a tiny kitten and you don't get it. Like I, I bet the whole thing was like a very stressful experience for a tiny kitten, you know? And like, where's my brother? And now, now Kayla closed the door, so I can't play with my brother overnight. I have to play, like, stay in her bedroom overnight, and I can't play with shrimp. Where's shrimp? You know, so it just seems like it was probably a scary time for her. <laughs> so, anyway, she's okay. She's okay. My kittens, like, when you think about it also, these kittens have never been alone. Like, the, the kittens always are together. Always. <laughs> so... They like, ever since they were born, she has always been with a cat, you know, at all times. And she wasn't alone because she had me, but like the, me and Dan slept in separate rooms when like the first two nights after her spay. Um, and so we were both with a cat, but they're always with each other. So I bet it was hard for them. They're good at adapting. She did well, but anyway, <laughs> I'm projecting a lot onto her. <laughs> Okay, um, I like that. That's reasonably priced too, so that seems pretty good. Um, oh, hey MCG, thanks for coming by the stream today. I'm glad you could make it, that's fun. Thanks for coming over. Um, okay, um, this unit is like, it's kind of blue color schemes. Maybe I'll use this in here. I too would kick out my husband in favor of a kitten. No, I just didn't want the cats to be alone. Like I was worried about the cats having to sleep alone that night because um, it was a stressful day for them. So um, I wanted them to be able to, to uh, be together. <laughs> I could probably make this bigger. We could probably have a slightly bigger bathroom if we wanted to. That might be good. A little bit more space, you know? Um, okay. Is it a limited pack build? No. <laughs> We're kind of just, um, unfortunately, I'm kind of just doing whatever, wherever. But in my defense, the goal of this was to experiment with, oh, that could be cute. The goal of this was to experiment with the new pack content. So we've been experimenting. <laughs> and just using everything everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately it's not a limited pack build. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Yeah, Caitlin, all three of the cats, I well, I don't know what they do in the middle of the night necessarily because Snap is sort of one to, to, I always say she puts me to bed and then I don't know what she does, <laughs> but Snap will put me to bed and then come back to my bedroom in the, in the morning. Um, I don't know where she goes in the middle of the night, 
but she puts me to bed and then comes back. Um, the kittens, I when I wake up in the middle of the night, there's often two or three cats on the bed, depending on the situation. Sometimes one, anywhere in between. Um, sometimes they're on me, sometimes they're next to me, sometimes they're in the cat tree in my room. There's just cats everywhere. I don't know what they do all night, though, because I'm asleep, but... Um, but I think Snap probably goes and sleeps by herself, but I don't really know where she goes. Um, exactly. She might have multiple places. She kind of, like, she switches up where she spends most of her time. Like, she'll have phases where she sits on this chair all the time. She'll have phases where she's on the dining room table all the time. Like, she kind of moves around. So, Snap might have multiple spots that she goes in the night. Um. She's, she's got many locations that she frequents. She's everywhere all at once. <laughs> okay. Are there lot requirements? No, actually, um, you, you've you got kind of, uh, it's kind of open to you. Um, the, it has like, I'll show you. It's got like um, suggested stuff. Like it tells you suggested so you can grab an oven and activities easily, but it's not, uh, there's not requirements. So you can put whatever you want in the rentals. If I were you, I would probably make sure it's a functional house. <laughs> Um, that would be my suggestion, um, but you can basically do whatever you want with the interior of them. You'll get more rent money if they have more stuff, though. Um, colors, orange. Is this a shell? No, no, I'm just building this. I'm just building it. It's not a shell or anything. I don't really know if I like that. This one I really don't like, but maybe I'll use it anyway. So. Should we do that? Maybe, no, maybe I'll get a smaller TV. Or like a, oh gosh, I almost hit my mouse. Sorry. <laughs> Let me get like a littler TV stand probably. I'll try and make it slightly centered with the room. And I'll put a TV on the wall. That's kind of expensive, but I think that's okay. Expensive is good, right? I think so. Well, this will be good. I can put that in the corner now because I made the bathroom bigger. I don't know what I'm going for with like the size of this apartment. So, or the, the, what the price range, I guess I should say, of this apartment. I don't really know how much I'm comfortable with it costing. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Um, I don't really, I don't really know yet. That's not gonna work, is it? That's way too tight, okay. Um, yikes. <laughs> is it possible to change regular residential lots into rentals? Yeah. Done. I'm building it on a regular one though, because the rental type is kind of laggy in build mode. So, um, I did, um, I'm building it as a regular one and then that's it. Yeah, isn't it cool this lot's gonna be fully functional? I'm so excited about that. It's really fun. Um, yeah, if I were you and you're gonna build one of these, I, I would suggest that you build it in like normal mode and then switch it into a rental afterward. So like build it and then assign the units last is kind of like the best way to go about it. Um, from my experience, <laughs> build it first, assign units last. What was I gonna get? Coat rack. Um, yeah, the cars outside are fake. Sorry if that excited you. Um, the cars outside are just pretend. <laughs> They're, they're a base game debug. They're not real. Um, they are not real. Okay, I'm looking at the stuff from For Rent because I wanted to use maybe like... For example, this plant is really nice. So I might put that in the corner. I don't know. Okay, um, I will probably give you... Like this little thing. Maybe you could have a couple planter boxes too. 
Oh, we should get him a shoe a shoe rack too. Will it be a speed build on YouTube? Um, probably. I post most of my builds as speed builds on YouTube. I have like quite the backlog of speed builds that I'm going to upload to YouTube. <laughs> um, like quite the the backlog of builds that I've done that I haven't posted yet. So um, I don't know when I'll post it on YouTube, but I I like to post my builds on YouTube as speed builds. Yeah, if I'm proud of them. Um, okay. Save the game. With four rent. Yeah, we are playing with four rent right now. We have the we have the expansion pack right now. We've got early access. Um cork board. No, no, no. Wait, what I want to get is the um what's the thingy? Let's use that parenthood item. I literally never use that. <laughs> Let's put the um Hello. Oh, we should use some of these cute little decor items as well. Maybe I could put some like family stuff like this up. What am I looking for? Oh, cute kids artwork. Also, I'm thinking that maybe I should make this into a bunk bed now that I think about it. Cause the more beds you have, the better off you are in this game, I think. We'll be able to fit more Sims to live here if we do it like this. So it's probably for the best for us to get a bunk bed. Um, okay, that can go there. Let's put this one, like, right here. Just more beds equal higher rent? I think so, based on what I've seen as I play. I cannot confirm or deny that, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> um, but that is my, my assumption based on what I've seen so far, yes. More beds is better. Plus then, it's honestly, it's a good thing because the more beds you have, the more neighbors you can have. And I think it's more fun to play with more neighbors. Personally, at least. Well, this could be cute in the kitchen, to be honest. That seems like kind of a realistic family thing to do. Bunk bed ladder looks blocked. Oh. Oh dear. I did build it in a weird way, didn't I? Um, maybe they can't have this anymore. <laughs> Let me get them one of the little, like, will I be playing on this lot? I don't know, Gigi. I like this lot a lot. Um, but here's the thing, right? <laughs> this is sort of the answer I have always to this question because people ask me it a lot about my builds. I build a lot more lots than I will ever need to actually play on. Like, I build way more often than I could ever actually use all of that stuff because we build like pretty much every day and I'm not making new saves every day, you know? Um, so for the most part, I don't end up playing in a lot of the builds that I do just because I, I build more than I could ever use when I play, right? Um, like a lot of times I'll, I'll be playing in a save, yeah, but they don't need a new house every day, <laughs> you know? Um, so there's only so many houses I can actually live in. But. Okay. Um. Let's see. Should you have like, I don't know what to put on this wall. I don't know. Maybe some more base game stuff. Perhaps. Oh, what colors does this come in? Oh, we should use that as like a color scheme inspo for in here, because that's pretty cute. Um, okay, and then... I don't know. <laughs> There's not a lot of room to work with. <laughs> I'm overwhelming myself. Um, maybe like, um, should they have an easel? What if this sim has an easel? What if they're an artist too? I kind of wanted to put the curfew board. I was talking about that and then I distracted myself and put something else, but um, them having art stuff might be good because that gives you like another skill item to use in the corner. 
What's it called? Curfew board? No, board. Family bulletin board is the word we're looking for. This needs to be like, I guess by the kitchen makes sense. Well, I was gonna put it over here and then I sort of flipped around some stuff. Maybe I'll swap these out. Oh, we were gonna do shoes too. We wanted like a little shoe rack. Yeehaw, cowboy boots, okay. Um, maybe I'll put a welcome mat on the inside too. That's weird, whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm overthinking it. We're never gonna finish furnishing these if we furnish them this slowly. Like, I, I'm, I'm halfway done with like a million builds right now. <laughs> Because I keep starting builds and then getting excited and starting another one and then not finishing the one from the beginning. <laughs> so. That's not good. It's a bad habit. Um, okay. What is backseat gaming? If you're seeing a, a message pop up in chat, that's not a timer. It's not calling anybody out, by the way. Um, but backseat gaming means like... Uh, making demands and trying to tell me what to do as if you were the one playing the game when I'm playing. So there's like, there's like degrees to this, right? Cause making a suggestion is fine, <laughs> you know? Telling me like an idea is fine. When you start yelling in all caps, like, no, you should have done this. Like that's when, um, <laughs> like backseat drivers is kind of the joke, right? Where like, if you're sitting in the backseat yelling at the driver of the car or whatever, um, but you're sitting in the chat yelling at the streamer and, and sometimes being kind of mean about it. <laughs> we ask people not to do that because it's kind of overwhelming. It's like one thing when it's one person. Um, yeah, like Christine's example, I hate that rug, it's ugly. Whoa, <laughs> not helpful. Um, it's fine when it's like one person, but you gotta keep in mind that it's never just one person. It's like the whole chat because there's like thousands of people here. So, so when all of a sudden it's 20 people, it's like kind of scary. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, just, just try not to shout and try not to, like, make demands. We always say make su suggestions, not demands, is kind of the, um, distinction we try to have. Um, because suggestions are good and helpful, but demands kind of scare me. <laughs> but it, basically, I'm just asking people to not be mean. At its core, that's what we're saying, is please just be nice when you type in the chat. <laughs> um, so... Okay. Yeah, using caps, like, in an exciting way is different, too, from, like, using caps and it's a mean message. Again, there's levels to it. <laughs> so, we just ask that people are, are nice when they, um, suggest stuff. Um. Okay. I don't really like that, but I think that's kind of fun that I don't like it. Okay, Forgotten Companion, Chrissy, Allie, thank you for the subs, too. Um. Okay. Yeah, Beth, I don't know. People don't always realize, like, when you're watching the stream, um, how things are coming across. Like, because, again, on its own, a lot of the messages are fine. It's just when you, like, pile them together with thousands of others where it gets kind of to be a bit much. Um, so people don't always realize that it's, like, against the rules or whatever. And people say all kinds of wacky things on the internet. <laughs> so, um, there's always something. You guys, if only you knew the kind of stuff that we gotta deal with, it like combination in the chat and in the Discord. Luckily, most of it you never see because it gets like held back by auto mod and, and me and the mods deleted or whatever. Um, but if only you knew the kind of stuff we gotta deal with, you'd be amazed. <laughs> the internet is a wild place. Um, okay, I think I like that combo together. I think that's kind of cute. And we don't need, to, we probably don't need to do that much else in this unit. I, I wanna like maybe try to um, ideally not make it too much more expensive than this because I think it's already kind of expensive. So we can do something simple like that. Maybe I'll give them some tile in the kitchen though. Um, okay. Cool. Let me get a little column. I put it there. All right, 
Streaming seems scary. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like scare you off from it. I don't want you to think that it's bad or anything. Streaming is a lot of fun. I really like doing it. There's always gonna be some bad eggs, but like bear in mind, right? There's 5,000 people watching right now. There's maybe like 20 of them are bad eggs, you know? So it's fine. <laughs> There's always somebody, but you get, and maybe it's sad that this is true, but you get good at ignoring them and also like not letting it affect you. Like most of the time when I see some really nasty stuff in chat, my reaction is like to laugh. <laughs> like um, my reaction is like to laugh at them for, for typing those sorts of mean things as opposed to like letting it hurt my feelings. So um, anyway, um, some of it is kind of funny. A lot of times it's like the creepy messages that are kind of funny, I guess I should clear. That sounds weird to say also, but like there's a lot of um, creepy men on Twitch. <laughs> so uh, those messages are the kind of ones that I uh, sometimes think are kind of funny when I see them because I've, I've grown very accustomed to seeing it. So it's like, Jesus, I can't believe they just said that, you know, like, wow, bold, you know? Um, so. All right. Is it out yet? No, this is early access still. Uh, it comes out tomorrow. This pack for real will launch tomorrow. Okay, so this unit that we're doing right now is gonna be totally different vibes and this one's gonna belong to Johnny Zest. Um, so we're gonna try and decorate it with like Johnny Zest vibes in mind, you know? Probably gonna be a little bit darker inside. Kind of like this sort of color scheme I'm going for. Um, that's what I'm thinking, at least. You can have some bar stools, that'll be good. Um, maybe he gets a coffee table back here for his TV? No, let's use this for the TV so there's more space for walking. Okay, that's cool, right? Can I scoot these all over just a smidge? That's a little bit farther over on the outside, but hopefully it's not too noticeable because it looks better from the inside. Why are you using only base game inside of the house? Well, I'm not only using base game. I've just used a lot of base game because I had a vision in my head. <laughs> I'm not only gonna use base game. Um, I just had a, a vision and some of the stuff needed the base game for it to work. Um, his bedroom probably won't be only base game. A lot of this room is though, so far. Johnny Zest has base game vibes though. Um, I guess that's the nature of being a base game townie. <laughs> when you're a base game townie, you get base game vibes. It just, it's just kind of how it works, but. <sighs> okay. Okay. Maybe we get something like this too. I don't know. Oh, I like the idea of, ha of him having a card table because someone in chat just suggested that. But also it'd be nice if he had a desk too, I guess. That would also be a good touch. So maybe he could have a desk back here. Lots of different wood colors. Do you have to pay rent to yourself if you're the landlord on the same lot? No, you don't. You just live there. You pay like bills, um, just like you would any other time, but you don't pay rent to yourself if you're the landlord. Um, maybe a laptop is better. The rug and couch combo is giving major Johnny's S fives. Thank you, that is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Okay, I don't think red blinds are the vibes. I think that they need to be like more of the orangey color that we have in the rug. Okay. I forgot about bills. I was thinking about owning the entire new crest until you mentioned that. Oh, that would be pricey. That would be pricey. You could do it though. Don't let anything stop you. If you wanna own new crest, bestie, by all means do it. Live your dream. Buy up all of the land. <laughs> land grab, you know? <laughs> uh, 
Um, what was I gonna get? Surfaces. I wanted to put like some little shelves. Would Johnny Zest have that? I don't know. You can own multiple lots now. Well, you can have more than one rental. Yeah, so you can live. Say I'm Nancy Landgrab. I live in my Landgrab ugly mansion. I buy an apartment building and rent it out to people. I have two lots. Just like how you could own a restaurant or own a vet place or whatever. Um, you had a good idea. Oh, what did I miss, Christine? Let's find out. We gave the Spencer Kim Lewis family a multi-unit lot with space for each grandparent. Oh, that would be a fun build to do for the Spencer Kim Lewis family. That's kind of a cool idea to, to do that for them. I like the concept. Is Johnny Zest my OC? No, Johnny Zest is a, a base game townie. He just comes in Willow Creek. Or an Oasis Springs, sorry. Um, he's not my sim. He lives here. So. Did Deli do that? Oh, cool. I haven't seen that. I'd have to watch that then. Yeah, there's so many things that you can do with this pack. Like, it really changes the game on, on how I'm going to play. I think um, starting on f sat no, I think starting on Friday, I'm gonna build the new house for my Legacy Challenge Sims, um, my YouTube series. I'm gonna build their new house on Friday starting. It's probably gonna take me two days, but we're gonna start that on Friday. Um, and that's gonna be similar vibes because I'm gonna move in their parents to live with us. Um, so we'll have, uh, in that household, we'll have like, space for the grandparents in the back. Same thing, sorta. To die immediately? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, they probably will die quick. Um, but I'm not gonna unpause the game until we live there. So we have some time still. Shut up, Hope. Don't be rude. <laughs> Let me have this, Hope. Okay? <laughs> But yes, they probably will die fast. Yes. Johnny reads. Oh, you don't think he'd have books? I don't think he's stupid. I think he reads a lot, probably. You guys, I don't think, I think that we're giving him, I think we're giving him this persona of like goofy guy who doesn't read books, but he, he probably writes a lot because he writes his jokes, you know? So I bet he's probably pretty like, you know? I think he probably reads a lot. In my dream, he reads a lot. Does he write his jokes? You think someone else writes his jokes? He 1000% has a podcast. Oh my God, he definitely has a podcast. He definitely has a podcast. I mean, you gotta picture this, right? Yes, he he does no longer associate with his family. He's disowned the land grabs, right? Good for him. They suck. But, Johnny Zest was raised in an extremely wealthy family. He probably went to like some really nice private schools. Like he's probably very well educated. And he can't shake the rich guy within, you know? He can't shake that, that the rich white man thing. Like he just has that, he is that. At his core. <laughs> he's working on it, but you know? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen, you guys, rich white guy comedian? Like, I don't know. I don't know. So. Anyway, the land grabs are his parents. If you guys didn't know, uh, it's it's in his like, just when you read his description in Managed Worlds, the land grabs are his parents. Um, so, give him that. Maybe I'll give him like, this too. Okay. Feeling good about this layout so far. lore stream <laughs> we're like i'm inventing a lot of uh theories about johnny's s right now and none of them are good 
so. Is he Christine? Oh my. Actually, I have the full pack now. I have the full code. So you're maybe used to seeing the past few days, um, the, the separate version of the game early access that I had. Um, but it's, that's just because the patch wasn't out yet. So no one can have regular early access until the patch came out because the game codes wouldn't work. But now that the patch is out, they could give everybody game codes. So I have uh, regular game codes now after the update yesterday. So I have all the packs installed right now. Um, the patch is out. Yeah, the patches always come out on the Tuesday before a pack releases. Every single time without fail. Tuesday before a pack releases, we get the patch. Every single time. Um, so yesterday was the big day. <laughs> there was actually two patches yesterday because one of them was broken, but you might've only seen one if you downloaded it um, at a lucky time. I It took me a long time to get the patch installed yesterday. It was like a whole thing. I don't know if you guys watched my video yesterday, but I was really stressed out. <laughs> it like wasn't working. I couldn't install it. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Um, okay. Broken for like everyone? Yeah, it was a, it was kind of a problem. I think I just heard tiny footsteps. There may be a kitten, but who's to say? I also may have imagined it. Um, Johnny would have mold on the walls. Do you think so? Johnny is the landlord, so I'm not opposed to giving him um, some stinky things in his place. So. <laughs> Why did I think elf when you said tiny steps? I mean, it could be an elf also, but I, it's probably a kitten. Um, just, just based on the fact that there are multiple kittens in this house. <laughs> so, it could be an elf though. I guess you never know. Um, what about that? That seems like a nice floor mat to have. Okay. Hey, Wolsey, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. We're building um, like a kind of nice little trailer park in Oasis Springs. I don't know if you play The Sims, but um, Johnny Zest lives here on this lot and we've kind of um, taken it over. <laughs> And I'm making Johnny Zest into a landlord and he's gonna um, run all of these lots. <laughs> so um, that's the vibes that I'm going for. I'm having fun. <laughs> I like it. The bathroom wallpaper is base game. It's actually not from a pack. That is, uh, that is just base game stuff right there. It came out in an update in the base game a long time ago, um, but it is only base game, so. Lost twin sister of Molsey. Really? Do we look alike? No way. That's kind of fun. I'm like, I'm gonna open your stream. <laughs> Let me find out. I believe it though. I believe you. I'm looking. Oh, we do look alike. Nice. I like you. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. Um, okay, let's keep building. I need to focus. We have to focus, chat. Get it together. We're, we have like four units to furnish. Um, show you. I don't know if I should pull up someone else's face on my stream. <laughs> let's put a link to their channel in the chat and you can check. <laughs> I feel like it's wrong of me to be like, look at this person. <laughs> you know? Check out their stream instead. instead. Um, Zimmer Wit and C2 and Spring, and, and sorry, and Pink Spring, thank you so much. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's focus. Add that for Johnny Zest. He probably needs that. That's good enough, probably. Should I give him some? Maybe he could have like a little bit of water on the floor of his bathroom. Like, we can give him a couple little bits of mess. Because I feel like Johnny is probably not the cleanest Sim. Like, I kind of feel as though he might have a little bit of a mess in his house. She says with love. You know? 
So we'll add some stuff like that. Um, fill in all of this. I really like this wallpaper from the basement kit. It's like one of my favorites. I think that's so nice. Um, let's get him a little bookshelf or something. I think at the very least, my goal is to finish Johnny's place today. Even if we don't get to the rest of it, I'd like to at least finish Johnny's today. And then we're gonna have to do a whole stream where we just like try and finish the builds that I started and didn't finish. <laughs> Cause we have a quite a selection of builds that I have started and not completed recently. So we'll have to work on them. No, I don't think you'd have mold either, but I think that like having a little bit of water staining and a couple things like that would be good. Well, they wouldn't be good, but <laughs> I could, I could see it happening, I guess I should say. It wouldn't be good. <laughs> it would actually be bad, but we can just try and make it seem like, maybe his house is kind of dirty, you know? Um. Just a couple little bits, just a couple. Fits the vibes. <laughs> right, Gia, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems good for his unit, right? Maybe I could get a guitar for him too, because he's probably gonna need to have a guitar because when you're in the entertainer career, you have a handful of skill building items that you're gonna need. So I can get that. Um. Okay, I did get a thermostat, right? Yeah, we have that thermostat there. Let's do Johnny's bedroom now. I really like, um, I'm sorry I'm giving them so many cheap beds, but I really like this bed for Johnny Zest, particularly in this color. I don't know why, but that screams Johnny Zest to me. Maybe it's because the last time I renovated his house, I used that swatch, but <laughs> that color screams Johnny Zest when I see it. Um, look at that. We can give him a dresser maybe underneath this thing. Ew, 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 ew. How about that? Put that underneath the AC unit. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I am gonna have to get off stream, guys, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna be in like a bit of a rush when I get off stream because I have plans with my parents tonight and they're picking me up at exactly 7 p.m. So I'm gonna get off stream then and run. <laughs> so I'm just warning you now, I'll be here for like 10 or so more minutes, but I am gonna run <laughs> as soon as we get off stream. So <laughs> um, I don't think I wanna get off early, early, but. Um, I'm like, I, Dan, I told him, I was like, get my wallet ready. <laughs> I'm gonna run. <laughs> let me make sure my mom's actually, my mom is chronically late. So let me just make sure she's, are you gonna be here at seven? She is, we love her, but she's really good at running late. Really good at it. Um, Okay. Um, your mom for real? You too, really? Yeah, I know a lot of people are. My mom, she's, she's a busy person though. You know, she works late a lot and stuff. So it's not her fault. And she has a zoo. They, my parents have like three dogs. So <laughs> there's always like pet stuff going on too. That doesn't help, but she is late a lot. When we did that stream, this was my dad's fault, not my mom's, but when we did that stream, the, the Sims trivia challenge with my parents during my charity fundraiser back in May, which you might remember, I w told my parents to get here before four so that I could like set up and tell them how the trivia was gonna work and like have everything ready when we were gonna go live at four for trivia. I check my phone, like I'm like tracking them, their location on my phone, right? Before they get here. It's like 3.53, okay? My parents are at Starbucks because my dad wanted to get a drink, like get some coffee before he came to my house for the stream. 
So, we're going live in seven minutes, and he stopped at Starbucks. So I was like panicking, texting him like, hurry up, hurry up, what are you doing? Like, you can't, we're going live in seven minutes. Like, you can't just, what is wrong with you? So my dad, he's my, he's like late in a different way where like he, my dad's the type to be like, okay, we're all, we're all in the car. We're finally going. And then he's like, oh my God, I got a shower. But we were all, we've been waiting for, for everyone to be ready. Everyone's finally ready. And now you're, you're getting in the shower now. Like, what do you, but everyone's like, we're leaving now. Like. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to hear it's your dad too. That makes me feel better. Um, we're all in this together, apparently. <laughs> we are all the same. Maybe Johnny's S can have like a Plum Bob poster and a, some sort of poster like that in his room. Okay, I think that might be Johnny's place finished. I wanted to give him a couple things on his porch though. Um... <laughs> Your dad will start cutting the grass or something. Yeah, it's like we're about to go and all of a sudden, wait, I gotta mow the lawn. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, uh, Your dad's the opposite. He's ready and waiting before everyone and will leave you behind. See, this is kind of my mentality as well. I'm ready and I, I, I will be panicking if you are not ready and I will be threatening to leave without you. <laughs> That's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at, too. I get really anxious about being late. I really, 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 really don't want to be late. So when other people are making me late, I'm really stressed out about it. So I'm early. To me, 10 minutes early is late. So. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty good for now. Johnny's little place could be probably good. I really like this place. Okay, we have two of them left to furnish and then the rest of the outside, so we'll have to finish this. Um, I get anxious about being late too, but in the past five years, I've never been once on time. Thank you, tiny human. Yeah, I think having a child definitely is not gonna help. Like you, Christine, you having the little one, that makes it so much harder, because it's not like, there's always something, you know, with a kid, like, um, anyway. Why is that one just in the middle? What, these two? I don't know, we think it's kind of fun to have them sort of close together. Mm. <laughs> Any plans to play City Skylines 2 next week? I don't, I would like to, but I don't. The problem is um, my other kitten, he's, my, my other kitten is getting neutered next week. So that kind of throws out one of the days. I won't be able to stream on Tuesday probably because of shrimp. He has, he has big plans, shrimp. So, um, <laughs> no one is texting me back. Let me track my parents real quick. Sorry, everybody. Oh, no, I hope that's not right. Because my phone is saying that he's at home. Okay, never mind. Mom says 708. <laughs> so, that'd be right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We have tickets to a thing that starts at 8. So. Anyway. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, plenty of time. Plenty of time. It'll be fine. All right. What else does Johnny's S1 out here? I think it'd be weird to give him another card table, right? Johnny, what are your likes and dislikes? They're probably not preset, are they? You dislike idealist sims. Okay. I need comedy. He already has comedy. You were too prepared for them to arrive right on time. Yeah, I know. Ping pong? Oh, that's fun. Oh my gosh, we should give them ping pong. I didn't even think about that. 
No, you're so on to something with that. That's really fun, actually. Tickets to what? I'll tell you tomorrow. As of right now, it's an undisclosed event just because I don't want to give you my live location. <laughs> I don't want to be like, I'm going to be at this place at 8 p.m. in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> but I'll tell you about it tomorrow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, anyway. I think I like that ping pong table. That's kind of cute, actually. I like that because that's it's technically in a common space, too. So the other neighbors will play with it. Like, they'll use it when you're out here. So that'll be good. Well, most of us aren't making it to Orlando in an hour. No, most aren't, but some might. You never know. There's some creepy people I've learned from experience. So, um, gotta be safe. Speak for yourself. I'm ready to hop on a plane. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm liking how this looks a lot. I'm excited about this. Um, okay. Anyway, we'll furnish these next ones next time we play. So here's the deal, I guess, with um, the next stream. So I guess tomorrow, do you guys want to try and finish this? And then we could do some gameplay. And then, because on Friday and Saturday, we're going to start the build for our Legacy Challenge Sims on YouTube. Um, well, we'll do it on Twitch, but my YouTube Legacy, we're going to build their new house. So that's going to be like a big... Big scary, because we're gonna build like multiple units and have their parents live nearby. It'll be fun, because we could make one. I'm like ready to have the whole family on one lot. Like we'll get like one for my Sims, one for their parents, one for the siblings. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to have everyone living together. That's my plan. So I think it'll be like townhouses or something. I'm not really sure yet what it'll be, but um, I wanted to have like everyone all living together <laughs> on the new lot. So that's what we're gonna build, um, I think. I don't know what world yet either. My Sims right now live in Copperdale, the high school years world, but they live on a 20 by 15 lot. So there's not a lot of space to have like the full extended family living there. So, but wouldn't it be so fun if they had like shared space and then like all the family was just out and about and around? That is really fun. That's what I want. That's my goal. <laughs> no, and we also haven't finished the other apartments in Oasis Springs, so we have a lot to do. I'm like halfway done with a lot of builds right now, because I keep getting excited and starting new things. But I'm excited, so I keep starting new things, <laughs> and now we have all these new things, and they're not all finished yet, so that's kind of the problem. <laughs> the cats and dogs world? Oh, Brindleton Bay might be good. You know what? That's an idea. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm thinking. There's a, there's a wide 40 by 30 lot in Brindleton Bay, and that might be good to have like four houses on. We have to build, oh my God, we have to build the, um, I want to do some like San Maishuno old like brownstone brick houses too. So that'll be another thing we want to do this week. There's just so many ideas. <laughs> So many things, um, but the lot that I'm thinking of in Brindleton Bay, you know this one, how it's a wide 40 by 30 lot? We could maybe have a set of townhouses here. For my Sims to live on. Because this is like, you see how it has like the big set of concrete? So we could really easily have like, and they, they could be pretty big too, you know? And then we could have space for everybody. I think this is a good spot for it to be. So we'll do this on Friday then. Um, and tomorrow we'll finish the trailer park. I like this lot. There's a lot in the world around it. It's cool to have like the sailboats. It's just kind of a fun spot to be. I think this is a cool area. Okay, so we'll do, oh God. I'm so excited. There's so many things I want to do. <laughs> this pack, you guys, I this might be one of the like, as a person who likes to build in The Sims, this is probably like the most joy a Sims pack has ever brought me. Like the, this has just changed the way I think about building in this game. Like it's, it's so cool. Like there's so much that you can do now. You can use it in so many different ways. Like it's just been a lot of fun. So, and next time I see you on stream tomorrow, the pack will be out. Uh, it'll be officially out tomorrow. So 
um, everyone's gonna get to play because <laughs> it'll be out when we when I stream next. Um, so I will be here tomorrow, um, and then we'll play some more. I feel like it's mainly for builders. I mean, Eliza, I I agree with you there a little bit. Like builders probably gonna get the most out of it, but if you just like playing in The Sims. I assume if you like playing in The Sims, you probably like the idea of playing in apartments. Um, and so this pack, kind of like Seasons in a way, sort of changes the game for all of the worlds because you can use this really cool new feature and have apartments in any world. And for me, like, with the way I like to play, I love the idea of a Sim, like, living in an apartment for a bit and then buying a big house because it's sort of wild to have, like, your Sim, freshly young adult, move out and then buy their own home, <laughs> you know? I mean, that would be cool in real life. But realistically, it doesn't really happen like that, you know? So it would be cool if we could use this for... It just makes everything so much more realistic. Like, everybody lives in apartments, you know? <laughs> so... Um... Even if you don't want to build them, there's going to be so many on the gallery that you can get and it's just going to change the game for you and how you play in that way, you know? I don't really even care about being a landlord. I just want to live in and build apartments. The landlord thing is not that interesting to me. It's more like the playing in and being a tenant and making the apartments, making the townhouses, making... This one, I haven't posted this on YouTube yet. This is a different vibe. Um, but in this one, I, I built like a house and they had like one year... <laughs> I put Nancy in here. Um, the owner lives in this bedroom, and then I made a couple of, um, like, other, the other units are bedrooms, and then they have shared kitchen living room space. So you could do this in so much, like, you could have, like, Granny have her own bedroom and have her live in your space, but, like, not play as her. And that's kind of cool, because what if you had, like, for example, what if you had, like, eight Sims already in your house, but you want your grandparents to live there with you still? You could do that. So it makes, it's kind of like a better way to do roommates, I think. Um, it's, it'll be like, because you know in university, how they're just kind of there? You could make your own uni townhouse or uni apartment and then have them all like in separate units. Like, it's just, this is a way cooler way for this to work. I'm making grandma pay $800 per minute. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this, I could sit here and talk all day. I'm very excited. Um, on that note, I am probably going to end the stream here because I do have to run. Um, I have to get dressed. <laughs> so, um, I'm not wearing real clothes. I'm wearing pajamas. And I'm sitting in a blanket right now. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to head out. But I will maybe go and find someone to raid who is perhaps also playing The Sims 4. Um, maybe we could go raid everybody. There's so many people playing Sims 4 right now. What do I do? What do I do? Um, actually... I think, I, my friend Shella is live, and you know I love Shella, she's one of my best friends in the whole world, so I kind of want to rate her. She's also playing with For Rent, so um, we can go over and say hi to Shella, yeah. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Um, I'll show you these. Um, speaking of Shella, during my charity stream the other day, I uh, offered these stickers as donation incentives to people. Shella drew these. They're little tiny cats. She made them for me. So <laughs> um, go and say hi to Shella for me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Sorry to run, but I actually have to run. Um, and I'll catch you later. Okay. <laughs> have a good night. Love you. Miss you. Okay. Goodbye. Where's the button? Uh-oh. I can't find it. Wrong OBS. There we go. Stop streaming.